All right, so wanted to get everything set up for you. So basically, this is the, the back office to the MSI concept. This is what you mostly see. Every time that you log in, um, you'll have the videos here. Going to be updating more videos. Um, a lot of training in step five, which has the additional training. Uh, but really, the steps one through three are the steps to follow. You've already completed step one and step two. Um, once you do want to go into step three and get licensed, you can definitely go into that portion and add into what you have there. So what you've gotten already access to by getting the LSN account, um, that will give you access to the full marketing system. So what you want to do once you come into your marketing system is you want to edit the main page, which is the MSI concept, and you want to take your MSI link right here. Once you click on links to promote, you'll copy that link. Come to basic settings after you click on edit on the page, and you make sure that that link is to you. So that way that that's going to be the main link that you promote. Once you've updated this, you'll be able to go into LSN and you'll promote this page. So then you'll have the main page that goes to everything else. That's all set up for you. As you get licensed in the other companies, you'll be able to update the other links with your particular link. Um, I believe since you're with Rance, you're obviously already in GCN. Um, so then you can definitely update that link as well, but that one you don't really need to update. You'll just have to make sure that your video is updated. Um, if you want to do a video and then, or make sure that they have your, your, uh, your code, your enroller ID. So as long as they have your enroller ID, but the video is already set up. So once you have cell service, the video is already set up, you know, as far as subscribe. Uh, sharing GCN, sharing the information with them, you know, letting them know exactly what's going on with everything that we have here with GCN and lets them enter that capture page and they go right into your leads. So that's what the main focus is, capturing your leads, making sure that the leads continue to build for you and you'll have them both in your LSN downline to where you'll have all of your leads captured for you. You'll have everything, you know, their email, phone number, all of that good information, as well as everybody that signs up, you'll have them in your downline here as well. Right. So if I have my own business, um, like I noticed that the, uh, some of the things there, one's weight loss and one's nutrition. Mm -hmm. Challenger here to share with you, Jesus. Um, if I'm in a business that's already doing the weight loss and the nutrition and I'll want to advertise that one or um, publish that one. Yeah. Then you're going to do the same thing. You edit, you enter in your video, you enter in your, your link. So you come in, you edit where it's already created. Okay. You'll edit your link of where it's going to go to. And then you need to edit, you need to get the drag and drop editor to edit the videos. So if you want to promote some if you have to edit everything. Okay. So once you edit the edit that you can then edit the videos and you can get everything set up for that particular business. Oh, okay. So it's not a it's not a done for sale like the travel. You have to pick something to promote. No, no, it's already done for you for the products that we have. Oh, okay. So it's already done for one specific product. If you wanted to do something else, you have to edit it. So you therefore you have to change it. Okay. Okay. I, get, I understand. Yeah. So the other pages are are much easier to edit than the, the ones that are created with the drag and drop editor. So you do have access to these as well. Um, these are much simpler pages. They're easier to edit um, once you come into this particular setting. So it looks like this. So it has a, a, a very simple setup. Those are easier to edit. Um, it has the video layout already there. So you can edit this video layout with a YouTube link and then you do the same, the same as far as editing your, your redirect URL. So you can use all of those pages as well to edit into, into the additional pages that you have. So if you wanted to use additional pages, you have these as well. Okay. So how do these get published? The, as soon as as soon as you complete the edit and you saved, they're live links. Oh, okay. So these are instantly live links. You can I can literally copy paste this link, post it anywhere. It's it's already a live link to whatever I, whatever you've already posted up. So it already has the weight loss. It takes the description 
of the information that you edit in here. So as you can see, my description, here's the description that I put, here's the title of the page, that's exactly what shows up here. Right. So that's on Facebook. Yep. It already pulls from that information that we've, that we've labeled. Okay. And that's anywhere that you post it. So it's not just automatically goes out on the web. You have to either post it to Twitter or Facebook or something like that. Correct. You can post it to anywhere. So we give you the links so that you can post it to anywhere. Um, so that way, you know, it can be marketed any way that you choose. Most of the marketing that we process here through the MSI concept is either through Facebook pages, um, which you can create thousands of pages, groups, or you can also promote through um, the blogger system. I use the blogger system as well, which I'll show you my blog here. Oh. That is my Google domain. <laughs> yeah, I bought a domain that just goes straight to Google. Okay. So this is the blogger platform, which I can teach you how to post on this as well. Um, if you want to start uh, having your own marketing space to where you can customize everything along the sides, all the ads, um, start generating ad revenue from AdSense. So this is all AdSense revenue here. Um, you can post banners. Show you how to create those. Show you how to how to hyperlink your images. Um, you know, so that's another thing as well. Getting your images hyperlinked. Um, so you have banners, posting your videos, all of that kind of information. Uh, depending on what you're looking to market and how you're looking to market it, any of those different things can be done. Um, I like the Blogger platform, but you can definitely use WordPress as inside of LinkedIn as well. Um, it is part of the marketing hub. If you do decide to upgrade with LinkedIn, you do get a marketing uh, marketing hub with the blog here. So you can get a blog right inside of this system as well. Which I never log into this one, so I don't remember my password. <laughs> yeah, I did do a bit of WordPress uh, uh, on a website that I had. There it is. I'll eventually remember it. But yeah, they do give you a web a WordPress blog. So um, if you do want to have your WordPress inside of hosted in there, you can do that as well. Um, which that'll go out to the web. Um, the reason why I use Blogger over WordPress is because I have APIs that are running. My API runs not only to Blogger, it posts also on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Tumblr, uh, okay. and Google Plus all at the same time. So I'm posting six times each time I post hmm. instead of just once. Okay. So each one of these posts goes out to six different places at one given time. Yeah which helps with your ranking, which is why I have the domain that goes to Google because I get tired of searching my name. But it allows you to be the entire first page of Google. Oh, okay. How much does that cost? The blogger platform is completely free. No, the Google page. The Google domain? Yep. Um, that's just purchasing a domain. You just have to redirect it. How do you redirect? Because I've got two domains. All right, so depending on where you purchase your domain, I purchase all of mine through GoDaddy. That's where I got it. All right, so once you're inside of GoDaddy and you sign into your account, let me move this really quick so I can get to it. Once you sign into your account and you visit your account, which I have to edit a couple of my domains here in a minute or repurchase them. I know they're up for renewal. But what you'll do is manage the DNS. Okay. Once you manage the DNS, which this was probably a bad example because this goes to my other name server, this, what you'll manage is the forwarding. So you forward where you want that to go. So I'll show you in particular what I do with one that I have for my Google domain. I'm 16 domains right now. Mm -hmm. So for my campcalendar.net that goes directly to Google, 
it goes to google.com and it instantly searches my name. So you just do that uh, manually? Yep. Huh. And you can point it anywhere you want it to go. Wow. And is that training? Is that training on, on, the, on the site? The domain site, no. The, this is why I do the individual trainings because not everybody will need domain. Not everybody will purchase a domain. Right. So, uh, but definitely I do individual trainings like this all the time. So if you do happen to come across questions or say anything like that, that you're not sure of how to do, um, definitely get, you know, get in contact with me. We'll hop on a screen share. I'll show you exactly how to do it and I'll record it. So that way you can go back over it uh, time and time again. Okay. So when I'm ready to do that, I'll just give you a buzz or, or I'll send you a message on Facebook. Yep. Okay, because there's no way I'm going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, it'll all be recorded for you. You'll get the YouTube link after we've done, we're have done. we done with this session, so you'll always have that link to the recording, and it'll be on my YouTube channel. Okay, excellent. Excellent, because that's something else I want to learn is how to do YouTube videos. I know it asked, um, I'm not sure if it's, it was that one or on Open Jacket, um, that you put in a personal video now yes, does that yes. have to be something that i did myself or something that i use for my business it can be both it can be either one you can literally plug in anything that you want in there um, whether you're in the open jacket or the msi concept they both run on a similar software platform so like here you'll have a video from me as well you know and they can load these videos so when you have the videos in there then you can go ahead and, and set those up to play whatever video you want. If it wants to be about your particular business or if you want to say, hey, thanks for joining the Open Jacket, whatever it happens to be, you can load those videos up. Right. So, I mean, it literally is just whatever you want to put in that space. Okay. Okay, because um, the business I'm with at the moment is uh, running a mission about feeding the malnutrition children. And the website they've created has got like a resource page and it's got one, two, three, four, four. I think there's about six videos mm -hmm. that, that um, I wouldn't mind, you know, choosing one to put on there. I, I, don't, I, I don't know how many you can put up there. I don't have a clue. It is, it, the, the particular, that sponsor video is one single video. It is based on a YouTube uh, link. So what you'll need is the intel of your YouTube link to get that video. So right. in the Open Jacket Network, what they're looking at is if you click on any video, there's always a, a URL to it. So um, what you'll be looking for is at the top, if, can you see my address bar? Yep, yep. yep. Okay, so after the equal sign, this uh -huh. is the YouTube coded video link. Right. So this, the, 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 the command already inside of this embedded code already has the first part of this link. So all it needs is this last part to direct directly to whatever video you want. Okay. So I see that when I signed up, there was one already there. Even when I changed my details, that personal link was already there. Is that something connected to my site? No, that is something connected to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me okay. as well as rant. So you're only going to see the video from your sponsor. Since I own this system, I only see the videos from LSN because I got the software from them. So logging in as you, you'll see a different video. You'll also see my welcome video. Right. So right. you, get, you so get two videos. Okay, but you just said I can change my personal video. Yes, and that will be for everybody that comes in behind you. They will see your video. Okay. So, uh, oh, I'm going to send this out to once I pay my ten dollars because you know what? Otherwise, Cam will get all that money. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you have here, Rance being your sponsor, he probably hasn't done a video yet. So, no, Rance, Rance, Rance is not real tech tech savvy. He? No, he's not at all. He was supposed to have his session earlier today, so yeah, yeah. he was I mean, not he able to to make his session. So he's kind of, he, he kind of had an emergency, but um, yeah. he is really, re even even typing out, he, he always asks me, could I log into his email and type his emails? And I really don't have the time to do this for him. Mm -hmm. And I really can't do it because I said to him, it's all about branding yourself. 
Exactly. So I can't brand you. You got to brand you. Yeah, exactly. And then, I mean, if you're, if somebody else is writing your emails, it doesn't come across with your personality as well and the language that you would use, the information that you would use, and then the, the, the sentence structure that you would utilize as well you're right. when, you're, when you're writing. Because um, when you're writing and when you're speaking are completely different. Right. So, you know, and people don't realize that they have a, a, a writing voice as well. Uh -huh. so they they have to they have to then write for themselves as well to you know make sure that they have they have people there as well right. with the writing. Yeah, and and it's just ad, it's just advantageous for him to learn how to do this stuff. Yeah, and I mean that's that's why I set up this entire platform. There's so much to learn between what I have. Tyson is one of my good friends, so we that's why I have the open jacket. Uh, that that system's completely free. That's why I host these type of trainings for the free portions as well. That's why the MSI concept has so many trainings in it. You know, there's, if you look, click on step five, there's, there's literally like 20 videos in here. Of okay. different, different things as well. You know, different things that my members have asked, you know, can you do a training on this? Can you do a training on that? Um, the account linkage is the training that tells you why I use blogger. So if you do account linkage, you'll see why I use the blogger platform and how that all links together. Right. You know, um, and that's how you get multi -po post power and that helps rank you up in Google because there's more, more of the same thing going out tagged with your name on it. Right. So, um, you know, those are the different things that are set up in there. There's always more videos coming. Um, we have another webinar this Saturday that's going to go more onto the free membership because there's a lot of people asking me more questions about how the free membership works, how they earn off of the free membership. So we're doing more videos on that this weekend to kind of answer those questions. Pretty much when I get more than more than when I get a question more than once, I usually do a video on it. Right. Okay. So can I ask, mm -hmm. other than um, upgrading for the ten dollars in the uh, open jacket, is there any other cost to this? There. That that isn't no cost is required at all. There's no required cost. Okay, so it's just the cost on um, if you decide to get a domain. If you decide to, yep. It, and that's all based on, you know, if it's going to be something beneficial for you. You know, and I, I drive that benefit, you know, as far as, as far as it possibly goes. If I don't think something's of a benefit to you or if you tell me, hey, I'm not getting much value out of this, I'll tell you to stop paying for it. Right. Well, that's, that's what I basically did because I joined uh, My Lead System Pro Mm -hmm. And well, I wasn't satisfied. They were charging me $150 a month, but I couldn't get no answers. Like they they said, get back to the person who who your sponsor. Who sponsored you, yeah. And then most of the time, your sponsor's nowhere to be found. No. Yeah. Well, he's he's to be found, but he doesn't pick up the phone. Uh, he doesn't answer the question. He just keeps sending his email to go to his blog or go to his video. Or it's like well, this is not helping me much. Yeah, yeah, they try to they try to be very hands off. I like to be very hands on. That's why I like to do these sessions, especially customized sessions, because then I can see where you're at, see what questions you have, and then you can get customized, you know, help based on what you're trying to do. Right. Wow. You know, a one size fits all kind of video, like oh, here's how you do this, here's how you do that. It's no, I'm trying to do exactly this. How do I do this? Wow. Yeah. So, I try to do that a lot with my members, and that's what they appreciate, being able to come and ask me a direct question about what they're trying to accomplish, and I go about the best way I can to help you, you know, reach that goal, because yeah. it's all about the goals that we have, and we're all reaching the goals together. So, you know, it's, it's really just to be helpful as far as, you know, this is what you have. This is, these are all the tools that I found to be the best tools possible. These are the companies that I found to be the, you know, the most prominent companies as far as the consumer base space. And then, you know, as far from that, with with what I've put together, you know, you'd be able to tap into all of my knowledge and all of my technical skill because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't have the technical skill. Right, right. So tell me, which is best for me to do first? Do the training here on this site or do the training on the open jacket? It depends on what you're looking to go for. The open jacket is more of online marketing training. There's not going to be anything specific in there. It's going to be, here's a couple of ways to market. Here's a couple of tips on, you know, marketing in Facebook. Most of it's Facebook marketing for the open jacket network. 
Yeah. So, you know, that's the, the main push of it. You know, definitely what uh, I will may probably help you out a little bit more is tapping into the conference calls that we have weekly um, with Open Jacket Network because we'll usually add on a couple of different tips. I usually speak on that every other week. Um, LSN I speak on usually weekly. And it's just, you know, those calls we usually tap into more because there's there's more question and answers to it. The Open Jacket system is completely video system. You know, the, the only thing that's going to be updated as far as that is going to be on the conference calls. So it gives you that opportunity to tap into more information weekly, uh, you know, but that's also you can access as a free member. The Definitely the going through the kindergarten through sixth grade is definitely a good way to start because it's going to give you some general information. It's also going to give you a couple of different tools that we've used as well in the past, me and Tyson, you know, as far as setting up your profile, setting up your Facebook to drive traffic, um, you know, what you'll get as far as creating videos and, and it's more gearing you towards being your own stage walker and branding yourself. That's, that's what the open jacket is focused on, you know, learning how to brand yourself more, get, you know, get into video marketing, get into systems to where you do a little bit less of the, the leg work. So you yeah. can have videos doing a lot of explaining for you. A lot of, a lot of your personality comes out in the videos uh, and then a lot of the different tools make them easier to create videos. Okay. So you yeah. have a lot of you have a lot of information there, you know, as far as the different the different tools that we use inside of there, as well as all the tools that we have with LSN. Okay. So LSN gives you a full suite of tools if you decide to upgrade there as well, because you get the full marketing hub, and then you can create as many pages as you want. Okay. And how much is that for the upgrade? The upgrade for the LSN is $30 if you just want the system, $50 if you want to earn off of it, or $150 if you want a platform like mine with Step by Step. Hmm. <laughs> so there's only three levels. Yeah, and is that a once-off? It's, it's monthly. So these are, the, these are the three levels. So you can just get the tools itself, you can be pro, which allows you to earn off of it as well, or you can be entrepreneur, which will allow you to have your own step-by-step -step system. Now, I don't recommend everybody go to entrepreneur level if they don't have a concept or an idea that they can promote through all of the steps. And there's a number of different ways you can do it, um, you know, depending on if you're going to have a different company for each step, if you're going to have, you know, different marketing materials for each step, if you're going to do training, if you're going to have, you know, different causes that you want for each step. It all, it all depends on what you want. But the entrepreneur level is, is something that takes a little bit more management than most people are putting into their normal day-to-day -day business. And you also have to have a following for it as well, or at least be able to develop one. Because otherwise, you're going to be paying $150 a month, gaining maybe one or two members a month, which is not very productive. No. No. You could do that as a free member in LSN. Uh, that's, and that's what I was, I was going to say. So what do you recommend for, I mean, I need to, I would be happy to get two members sign up in my primary business a month. How would you go about doing that? I would go with LSN because it's going to give you the marketing system. It's going to automate your marketing. So it will allow you to, it'll allow you to con contact more people in a shorter period of time than anything else that I've seen mainly on the internet. Okay. And is that the free system? You can use it with the free system. Okay. Because you have, you have product lines that are already in one of the seven. So you can, you can then just edit your videos and use those links. Right. But you can only do it once, right? No. You, once you edit it, then you'll use that link. Right. But what I'm saying is like with the, well, I guess with the weight loss, uh, yeah, nutrition could be, could be the malnutrition children, right? Yeah, you can definitely do that. I mean, you technically can make it whatever you want. As long as the video's in there, and I mean, the video is really what what does the titling for it. I mean, they're gonna if they're watching the video, and th that's that's the difference between using your marketing here with the style that I market of of having the because most people have capture pages, and they don't have any information on those capture pages, and they try to either capture an email or a name or phone number or whatever they're trying to capture 
before they share information with people. Right. This works the opposite way around. You already have the video there. So after they've watched the video, if they fill out this information, they either A, want to hear from you or they want more information on the company that you're talking about. Right. You already know everybody that goes through this system is somewhat interested in what they saw. Rather than just putting in some, you know, most of the time they put in a bogus email address that they're never going to check just to get to the next video to see what you're talking about. Here, you already have, they have already seen your information. Right. Yep. Every lead is that much more promising that you're going to get with this system mm -hmm. versus anywhere else. The way that we market, the way that I show you how to market here with LSN. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So are you saying that, like, this is a weight loss one. Well, mm -hmm. if there's several of them there. One is cell phone. What if I don't want the cell phone to be the cell phone? Can that be changed? Then you would need to upgrade for that system so you can create a new page for it. Oh, okay. Because otherwise it's still going to be labeled that. And then you'll kind of have the the offset of if somebody goes to click on cell phones and something completely different comes up then it's gonna be like that's that's not what I was looking for and then you're gonna have a lot of bounces out of your site and they're not gonna look at anything else that you have to offer right so um, the cell phones like all the others they've already got videos attached to them correct everything has a video already attached to it Okay, so if people put their information in and you don't have a clue about the, the cell phone, <laughs> or you have to do the training on the cell phone. No, it, no, you, you don't have to do the training on any of it. You still earn off of what they purchase. You earn a percentage off of it. Um, I'm not sure if you looked at the file that we have put in. That's also going to be on this Saturday's webinar to kind of explain that more as well. But once you're inside of the group, um, there is a file that shot, that talks directly about getting earning as a free member. As a free member, you earn off of every one of the product lines. Right. So if someone purchase a, uh, purchases a cell phone or you market one of the cell phones, you can earn off of that purchase. Okay. Okay. That, that's what I was trying to say. Like when they put their, their, name, their name, their information in, that comes to me as a lead. I don't have to get back to them about the cell phones or they just do no, that? No, it's already, it's already a campaign that we already have set up. Oh, okay. And so all I get is the lead. Correct. You have the lead, you have that information, and you, then with that lead captured, you can go back and follow up with them and sell them anything at all. Okay. Okay. So what you have, what you have as the leads with, you can either set up your own autoresponder, which you can make sure that goes to everyone that comes across. So I have autoresponders set up for each one of the campaigns. So you can get autoresponders set up for all of your leads that come across. You can get them set up. The active leads is what goes out. So everybody has this general campaign for active leads. It's a one week campaign that goes out to all of your leads. All of the other product lines, it, once you get into the autoresponder, if you are to upgrade with this, then you can create an autoresponder that can go all the way up to a year. I've already written campaigns for 30 days on all of the product lines, which right. you can copy. Okay, so an autoresponder is that something gets sent out to them once they put their information in. Correct. So as soon as one of my leads fills out any one of the pages that they have, they'll instantly get emails for the next 30 days. Okay. Oh, they, so that's what that dude does. That's why I get emails every single day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have, I, have the, I have the strategic method of, of, of marketing emails as far as when they go out because you don't get emails every single day from me, and there's a reason for that. Well, yeah. You want to put it in a spam bucket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I also noticed you had on one of the thing, or was it on this one or the other one? One of them had Hootsuite, which is something I'm, I'm learning how to use. Now, me personally, I don't use Hootsuite at all. No, not for Twitter? Not for anything. Really? Correct. All of your posts should be organic from you. People can see when you post 
from somewhere else. Oh, okay. So if you are in Facebook, it will say where you post it from if you post from somewhere else. Let me see if I can just find one that posted from somewhere else. So this particular post, he didn't post on Facebook. He posted this on Instagram. It just happened to carry over to his Facebook. Okay. So when you use Hootsuite and other programs, people can see that it, the post wasn't for, from you. Yeah. And Facebook can see that as well. Facebook will limit your auto-posted responses to people's timelines. Okay. So the more that you post with something else, it will show up less for the people that are going to be seeing it. Uh-huh. Instagram is kind of the exception because Facebook owns Instagram. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's completely integrated. So it's no good then to link up your sites. It is good to link your accounts. So that's that, that goes into the video of account linkage that's in step five. It's good to link your accounts so that if you post on one place, like my Twitter and my Facebook are linked. If I post on either one of them, it shows up on both. Oh, okay. That's why they're, they're linked accounts. Okay. It's different from a linked account versus posting on something else that's posting for you. Uh-huh. Because then it looks like like a lot of people will have is their spam that comes out. So when you use an auto poster, which there probably won't be anybody on my news feed that has an auto poster because their links will fall short of the news feed. Right. Because Facebook knows that post didn't come from you. You could have written that could have been written hours ago. Some program is posting it. It's not really you. Right. So you definitely want to make sure that your accounts are linked, but you don't want to have something else labeling your post. And you'll see it if something else labels your post. So once you post something, if you're using an auto poster, go back and see what is next to your post. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to see it. And you'll see, that rank, you'll see that ranking go down. You can ask some of your top friends that see a lot of your posts, ask them where they see that on their newsfeed. I guarantee they'll have to scroll at least five times before they see your auto post. Right. So how, how, how do you, like say you post to Facebook um, one time, mm -hmm. how do you make it reappear? Like instead of disappearing to the other millions of thousands of posts that come up. <laughs> it depends on your engagement. So here posted just a few hours ago, just at home. This engagement where people are liking it, commenting it, that yeah. will change the engagement on the news feed as a lot of people have their news feed set to top stories. I personally have mine set to most recent because I have a lot of people that I want to see what the most active thing is. 99% of people have their, their news feed on top stories. So yeah. top stories is going to be based on the interaction that's going on. Okay. So people are going to see more posts that have more interaction. So the more people that you can actually get commenting, liking, you know, and, and especially of your friends that are commenting, liking, and interacting on your posts, the more likely they're going to show up on other people's news feeds. Right, because I was told that what I should do is um, go back and make a comment on my own post. You can, but that doesn't work for the news feed. That works in groups. So if you were to, if I go to a group and I comment on something, it takes it to the top of the group. So here... Excuse me. <laughs> no problem. Let me wipe my so, screen. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the comp plan that we posted. So now refreshing the group, it will now be the top post. Right. So that works in groups. It does not work on the news feed. Okay. So for it to go back to the top, other people have to like or comment. Correct. 
And that's the only because it'll then become flagged as a top story. The more people that are interacting with it, it's obviously more relevant. There's a bigger story to it. There's more things going on to it when you go to top stories. Right. So top stories here, look at 17 people like this. So of that, more people are obviously interacting with this post. It's popular. You're yeah. going to see more of it when it has interactions. So here, nine people like this particular post. You're going to see it when there's more interactions. Mm -hmm. You know, so as it goes on, you'll see there's more and more interactions. But you can see this was posted 20 minutes ago. This was posted two hours ago. Right. So, you know, those different interactions can change when it's going to come up. This was posted five hours ago. Right. So it doesn't it doesn't really change the fact of when it was posted and re adding comments to it isn't going to change it on anyone else's news feed unless other people are commenting on it because they're looking at the number of people that are interacting on it. If it's just you, it's still one profile interacting with that post. Right. So that's why people sometimes ask you to like their post. That's a lot of reason why people ask to like it, like it and share it so that it goes somewhat viral. Right. Hmm. Okay. So that's why it's definitely if you do have a page which the free wealth boot camp tells you all about setting up a page pages will give you your interaction it'll tell you how many people that you've reached with that particular post yeah I did set up a page but I don't know how to get people to, to view it <laughs> I'll show you the easy way there's an invite button on here invite your friends to like this page okay You'll be able to go through about, I'd say since you just started your page, you'll probably be able to go through 100 friends a day. Okay. And what you do, and it'll tell you the status of every, every person that you've gone through, invited or liked. So it'll only let you do it once, but you go through this and you make sure that you go through this entire list. All of your friends, every time you see an invite button, click it. Until it tells you, you can send no more invites for today. Try again tomorrow. <laughs> okay. It like Twitter. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So you'll continue to do this the entire time until you've covered your entire list. And you will continue to get people that like your page. And the more people that like your page, the more it's going to show up on their news feed that they liked it. The more people that are going to end up coming back and liking your page more people that you'll be able to invite per day as people begin to like your page. Right. But what that does is once you send an invite by this method, it will show up as a notification, which like here, so so-and-so has invited you to like this page. And it will show up as a notification for them. Mm -hmm. So then they will have a notification from you to say, hey, check out my page. Right. And that's the way to market your page on Facebook without getting into Facebook jail, without getting your profile locked up, without being able to send messages for days, weeks at a time, all that nasty stuff that goes along with Facebook jail. Right. But on your page, you can almost do uh, advertise what you like. Correct. Yeah, you can pretty much post whatever you want on your page and you'll be able to see the interaction that it comes with that. Now, did I get a page or did I get... Mm -hmm. One's a fan page and what's the other one? There's your fan page and there's your profile. Okay. Both of them look very similar, especially now that fan pages can have messages. But the main difference is you'll get insights. So the main difference is when you're on a page, you'll have insights and notifications. What? When you're on your profile, you'll have photos and friends. What? Okay. Hmm. Now I was going to ask you about the boot camp. Is that a recorded thing or is that a live thing? Yes, it is recorded. There is also a live portion to it as well. So the Free Wealth Boot Camp is we put on with Traffic Tsunami. It's another partner of mine as well. Uh, this, the Free Wealth Boot Camp is 49 recorded videos. Helps with mindset, you know, kind of breaking the things that a lot of other MLMs and, and 
pitfalls have happened in the industry. So it kind of, it kind of sets you straight on all of those things and why those other leaders did the way they did and why we're doing something completely different. Um, And then from there, there is the nine o'clock show that goes along with the tsunami, which is at nine o'clock Eastern Monday through Friday. So that is live. Okay. It's a nine o'clock in the morning. No. In PM. PM. Sorry. Yeah. So it's seven PM our time. Yes, seven PM our time. Okay. And so that 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 runs in this same platform as well, the Zoom platform. So you'd be able to hop on just like this. Um, once you do get attached to the Free Wealth Bootcamp, I will add you to the group chat there, which will be like this. And then inside of this group chat, you will get the fancy link which drops at about 7.01 or 6.59 our time each night. So you do have to be active in the chat to get access to the 9 o'clock show. That's how live that it is. Okay. So it's not posted well, anywhere. It's not out and about. It's literally in the secret society. Okay, because I was going to say, well, <laughs> Monday through Thursday, that's not going to be possible for me. <sighs> Yes. The, once you get inside, the they we do record every other nine o'clock show, and they do get uploaded um, after the fact. So once you do get access to Traffic Tsunami, uh, you will be able to see one recording at a time. Right. So, uh, Where do I go to get traffic? Get into Traffic Tsunami. Traffic Tsunami. You will go to my Facebook page, and I'll send you the link here. So once you go to the Facebook page itself, then you'll be able to click on the Free Wealth Boot Camp. Right. And that will allow you to sign up with Facebook. Okay. And then you'll get into the back office here, and then you'll have the 9 o'clock show here for the recorded one. That will be the last recorded show. The 9 o'clock show. So you'll have that. And that will have a recorded show there. You'll have – You'll have three of the four recorded shows. So these are recorded. This was recorded weekly. This is recorded monthly. And this is a recorded training that's always available, uh, the money in the list, which is what we help build with LSN, the MSI concept. Okay. So there's a lot of similarities of what me and uh, the, the founder of this particular company, Jared, that we focus on kind of the same things. So there's a lot of things that you'll be able to cross integrate with the teachings that I teach you in the MSI concept versus the mindset and training that you learn with traffic tsunami as well. Okay. And then he has a method of earning up to 10,000 free leads. I will be giving away 50,000 free leads this year as well. Okay. Um, so can I ask, for on a, now, I know you can't make no stunning claims or anything like that, but on an average, from a beginner who uses this system, how long does it take them to get these leads? Because I in, in, in my lead system pro, I did a um, campaign, uh-huh. and I got four leads. Well, I'll train you to get more than four leads. <laughs> um <laughs> Well, you can see as Rance used the system, he's already signed you up and he hasn't even done his training session yet. So the the system itself is very intuitive to use. It includes a lot of different tools. What will make a major difference in the leads that you see from what you were doing in My Lead System Pro to here is leads will already have the information. A lot of people that are getting the information before they have to fill out capture pages because Capture pages have placed a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Right. Having those videos up front, I guarantee will already change the the type of leads that you get and the amount of leads that you get with that instance, just changing that style. Right. The next piece of it, you know, with having with having the campaign set up the way that they are, as far as how you market yourself as well. So having your links in, in And that's why I try to say, you know, definitely starting out, you should have a blog type platform because it allows you to build a self following outside of every social media search. So, but I mean, social media is still great. It's always going to be great. Um, but there's, there's just too much 
of the of people doing the wrong things. So a lot of people that you'll come across that are that are le actual leads will not do a lot of clicking links through Facebook. The yeah. people that click link through Facebook are more than likely already marketers themselves. Now that also gives you leads that you can work with as well because they're going to have a system. They're probably going to run into the same problems that you had. They were in it. They were in LSP. They didn't, they didn't get any leads. They didn't get any support. They didn't have any help. They didn't know how to market. They didn't have anyone training them. They, there, there was just not enough of anything. Right. And some of their training was too old because I got to the part where you start to, um, do ads on the Facebook, but following his step by step, was totally different to what came up on Facebook. And then when I looked at the video training, it was done in 2013. Yep. <laughs> that happens a lot as well. And I'm like, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like to constantly do videos. We have a training topic at least once a month. We'll have a new training topic, especially if there's things that changes. Um, you know, definitely when there's uh, – you know, one-on-one -on -one sessions. I've done a lot of the one-on-one -on -one sessions and they end up being bonus trainings. So the platform that I use, uh, for example, to sell cell phones, it's not just, it's not just for cell phones. So I use a software that allows you to market um, your products through, through a software that gets you directly integrated with Facebook. Right. So for my particular store, all of my products, which happens to be cell phones, I also have watches. I also did a Mardi Gras party, so I had those for a while, which I could probably take those down now. Um, but there's tons of different products on there as far as what get, got entered in. So I had another one of my members said, hey, I saw that you were selling cell phones. I sell beauty products, and I want to market the beauty products and I was familiar with the software, but I didn't, I wasn't able to use it. You know, she's like, I, I couldn't use it. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't do anything with it. You know, can you help me put my store back, you know, into this software, which is the Shopify software. So if you're on my page, you obviously see there's a shop section here. Uh -huh. So it's completely integrated with Facebook. Everything that's on my store is directly created with Facebook and they can purchase directly through Facebook. Oh, okay. Um, that one's particularly sold out because I did sell that one. But they can click on an item and they can purchase directly through Facebook without ever leaving. Ooh. So I can run full Facebook ads off of my products that are in my store because they never leave Facebook and Facebook loves that. Okay. So, you know, but she has a different page, which I'm also on. So let me get to her page. So can I do something like that with my business? Yes. Everything's fully customizable. So this is one of my other members. She's one of my top members. She's also on the full first page of Google. She has integrated with Facebook as well. These are all her products. They have nothing to do with cell phones, but she's using the same exact software. I've helped her build her store, add her products, showed her how to market this, showed her how to get different people to looking at her store, getting traffic to her store, and getting sales on her store. That has nothing to do with cell phones, but she has her products doing the same exact things that mine are. And she is the entire first page of Google as well. So these are all her links. Okay. And she picked her brand. We started training, and I launched the MSI concept in October. So within three months, she's the entire first page of Google with all of her products on Facebook. Okay, so how how uh, I guess if you if you're a distributor for a company, how would you get the the product line or whatever from the back office to a page? depending on how you want to market it. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. You can get a shop, which not a lot of companies will allow yeah. because they mostly have their own back office or shopping merchant or something else of that nature. Yeah. 
Um, so you'll have to find out with your particular company how you can and can market your product. Um, a lot of what you can do on your page is offers. So when you have a page, once you've gotten enough likes on your page, which I believe it's 150, you can start to do what is called an offer. So with an offer, anytime, which pretty much works for any company, it, anytime say your company has a, a discount or a sale or something new is coming out or whatever, mm -hmm. um, the other thing that you can do, what I tell a lot of my members to do is offer free shipping. Offer to reimburse shipping on, on the first order. Costs you a little bit of money, but you're going to get, you, it's going to be partial to the commission that you're going to get off of your first order anyways. Right. Right. Because, like, for instance, right now, we are doing a, um, well, I guess it's always going to be, the food bars are going to be a two-for-one, two-for-one? Yeah, a two-for-one offer, um, mm -hmm. which means that you, you buy... If you buy a box of bars, you feed yourself plus um, the equivalent to the nutritional factor is going to go and feed a, a malnutrition child. But yeah. at the moment, it's got free shipping on that. Okay. So then what the offer you could do is just highlighting that offer to feed a child. So And then you put in your offer – exactly what the price is or whatever happens to be for those bars and the offer is that they're going to feed a child right so you put in the notes and the comments of your offer you know feed a child description each purchase will go to feeding a child of some sort put an image in there right let customers redeem this offer well this you have to have the shop page to do so um, but this is the full integration. So if I wanted to offer something off of my page, I can offer it in the shop. But if you don't have the shop, it will look like this. And you just put in a description. You put in how long you want to do that offer for. You can put a limit on it. You know, so like for people that are doing like free shipping, they can do it for the next 10 customers or something of that nature. Yeah. You know, so you can limit it so you know exactly how much that campaign is going to cost you. You can pick a start date for it. So say if you get an early announcement that, you know, this, this offer is going to start September or February 1st. So you can, you can create the offer early on and post it for a certain date. And then you just put in your website. So wherever, you know, your website goes to, to place that order, you put in that, that link. So you can probably put in your affiliate link or whatever it happens to be yeah. that goes directly to that product and then just put in the full terms and conditions. Purchase the product. You'll need to enter in such and such information. Once you've completed your order, you'll get your product shipped and another product will ship out to, you know, said destination or, you know, whatever it happens to be, yeah. you know, as far as the terms and conditions. But then once you've got that offer and you create the offer, then you can share that offer on your Facebook page, on your wall, on groups, everywhere else, and it will share the insight of what happened on that particular post. <laughs> Did you see that? Um, so, but you said there, there's a cost to that? No, there's no cost to that. Oh. No, the cost would be if, like, you were, like, if you were covering shipping. Oh, okay. So, but if you're, if, if it's already, if it's already just the item itself, there's, there's not going to be any cost to it. They're going to go straight to your affiliate site and they're going to purchase it there. Right. So yeah, yeah there's no, there's no cost to create an offer. Okay. Cause it, it says on the site that it's free shipping. Yeah. So they, there's no cost to create an offer on your Facebook page. Okay. But you have to have X amount of followers first. Correct. Yeah. I want to say it's 150, I think before the offer button pops up, okay. it might just be a hundred. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Or they, they very well could have reduced that even farther by now. Okay. Because a lot of people use that offer button and then they will try to persuade you to create a Facebook ad off of it as well or boost it, which earns them more revenue. So they might, they more than likely have reduced that, that required number of likes to increase ad revenue. Right. But last I remember, I want to say it was at 150 likes to where you can start creating offers. 
Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely some very good questions. Were there? Do you have other any other questions that were? I'm I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm tired from work, so I'm thinking. I'm brain dead now. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's definitely good to ask me questions that I, I believe that's in my welcome video. Ask me things all the time because there's yeah. knowledge that's just wrapped in there that I probably won't spill out unless you ask for it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think before I can do any more asking is probably do the training and see if I can um, work my way through it to get at least, at least if I can get the nutritional page up and the weight loss page up, mm -hmm and get that up and running while I do the train because at least I know that I know that I've got those those products are available yes but, but there's uh, there's also the business side to to it too you know if you become a distributor you can participate in this this and that correct how many videos can you have on the, one of those pages just one just one but if you have the upgraded version if you go to pro um, you can create as many pages as you want. So as you can see here, I have multiple pages. Right. Because so if I wanted to send somebody a different video, I just click copy the link address and I can send them a completely different page. How much is that a month? This is $30 a month for this, for LSN. 30 bucks a month. Um, yeah, because there's so many different aspects to our company. Yep. It's just getting. Yeah. And once you have that, I can help you with creating pages um, because the, the pages there's, I mean, there's a wizard to create them. So you can create pages really easily, especially if once you upgrade and you get the drag and drop editor. Okay. Um, there's a complete wizard on creating pages. So if you click on the wizard, once you get into here and you want to create a page, like you can literally create one in 60 seconds. Yeah. Like all of those pages I created took me less than five minutes. Right. It took me longer. It literally took me longer because I'm kind of a stickler. It took me longer to widen this video than it did to take me to put all seven pages together. <laughs> like I was like, this video used to be a lot smaller. Right. So it like where you see the video cuts off, like where the black is, that used to be the entire video screen okay. with the black, with the black highlights on top of it. So imagine this where the, where this ends, right? Like down more. So the black bars would have been here and your video is like this big. Okay. It was like, Oh, this is way too small. This is way too small. And then it was spaced out even more. So this spacing where it's like kind of flush right against the form, it used to be probably about over here. Oh, okay. It's about a good inch in between. Which actually, I'll see if I can find the original. And I'll show you what it kind of looked like before I edited it. So, so yeah. here, here's what it looked like originally. So you can see how small this video is yeah. and how much space is in between here. So I made the video twice as large and and made it to where the the video itself or the video itself was flushed against the form. You can do it right. in different so yeah, I'll show you the I'll show you a side by side. So here's here's the video flush and how large it is. Here's what the normal size was. Okay. Okay. And and Daryl I just asked, can you do it in different languages? Yes, if you if you can write in different languages, yes, you can do it in different languages. You have to write. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, Australianese, but that's about it. Well, there's this there's this sweet thing called Google Translator. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know about it. Like, I haven't favored it. I have it bookmarked because I talk to a lot of people in in different countries. Oh, okay. But yes, it, it doesn't always translate perfectly, but if you're using a little bit, you know, you, it'll get, it'll get the point across. Yeah. Well, that's, that's for some time in the future. But at the moment, our products don't, they don't ship overseas, uh, Canada and here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if you had to do, if you had to, there's some people in Canada that speak French. 
So I don't know what weight loss is in French, but Google tells me it's this. <laughs> <laughs> and it gives you a, an instant little copy button. So you just click copy, <laughs> then you edit. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I, I, mean, I, I, I know a lot of different tricks to get, get the job done. Okay, well, um, I am definitely going to pass this on to my son who's in Australia. Um, and he's, he's, uh, he's joined this particular business, but of course it's, it's a little bit difficult right now because they haven't opened up the country. So he's having to look for leads <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, def definitely the, the way to go. I mean, that's what's good about building your leads outside of your particular company. Because say you couldn't sign somebody up in your company, you know, because it hasn't opened up, you know, but they're, they're planning to in six months. You can still have that lead here forever. You know, they, they might not be able to be in your back office in your company, but they can sign up for your mailing list or you can enter them into here to follow up with them later. Like this is one of my leads from way before in an old system that I had. He finally reached, I finally reached back out to him just this month. And I was like, Hey, you know, everything's all set up now. You can come back in. Everything's ready for your country. You know, come on back in. And sure yeah. enough, he did. Right. You know, so, right. um, Bad example of the dating, but you know, but that was the kind of thing before. Before I had this platform set up, right. it was he couldn't get into the company. He wanted to, but it wasn't available yet. Right. So it's actually advantageous then to, to take uh, um to take the cell phone and all the other things as well because leads are going to be generated that way as well. Plus Correct. You that's that's why we market everything on that one particular page because yeah. what will happen is nine times out of ten and and this goes into a lot of the videos that we do nine times out of ten they're gonna go to this page for one thing they're gonna go say for cell phones or you know whatever happens to be cell service whatever it is they're nine times out of ten they're gonna watch this opening video they're gonna come for cell service then they're gonna see travel and I'm like what's this about and they're going to watch that video and then they're going to come back and they're going to say weight loss, you know, three months later. And they're going to say, well, what's in that video? And they're going to keep coming back to your site to watch the other videos and essentially sell themselves on other products right. because they're just listed there. Okay. And what's the system? This system? No, it's skincare and then there's system. What's system? System is all LSN. Oh, okay. All right. Now, um, I have a PayPal account, but I heard Tyler say something about, is it Tyler or Taylor? Um, something about getting a premier PayPal? Yes. It, uh, to get upgraded, it's basically verification with PayPal. Um, they used to call it verified. Now I believe it's, Pre premier i mean i've had my account with paypal forever uh let me see if they have it labeled yeah so have i um, it used to be business and i've just downgraded so i <laughs> yeah it's it's a it's another setting it's basically if you've had it for a while then you've probably got grandfathered into it oh okay um yeah see i have a merchant id yeah if you have the merchant id then you're good Okay. Because it, it's, it's, a, it's a level, it's like in between the free account, but not the full business account. Right. But it, it's basically PayPal has verified you. They know you're a real person and you can transact either direction on PayPal. Okay. Because okay. that will allow you with that system, if you don't have the Premier, you won't be able to collect the recurring payments. Okay, because I've collected payments in there before, just recently, actually. Yes, there's a different type of account that you need to re to collect recurring payments, which is that Premier account. Like the Merchant ID will allow you to create buttons and collect funds, but if you don't have the Premier account, you won't be able to. It won't be able to automatically set up because Tyson has it already set up to set up recurring payments. Like I'll show you where is. Let me see if I can find his other payment. Mm -hmm. 
Nah. I know mine's on classic site, <laughs> but other than that, I, I. Let me see here. Payments received. I'll just go with that. No. Those aren't them. So yeah, one of my members, he was paying for the $10 a month. So it was here. So this payment received, this is, this is an automatic payment. Right. So in order to have that set up, you do have to have the premier account to where Tyson can have it set up with your PayPal ID to run off of his recurring payment. So this is, this is recurring payments. Okay. So it's, it's once you have the premier account, then you can manage these recurring payments. Right. So if you don't have this, you won't, he won't be able to manage this for you. Okay. Like he won't be able to set it up if you don't have that type of account. And that's, that's where he's talking about getting the, the premier account because then once you enter in, cause he's already has it tagged. So once you enter in your, um, your PayPal email address. Yeah, which I've already done. <laughs> yeah, it will automatically set up those $10 payments for you. So it's it's already API coded into the back office. So this PayPal email, there's a code that's already generated into the system that says, okay, this is the PayPal address that it goes to. It looks for the coding. It pulls in the recurring payment, and everybody that's in your downline that's coded to pay, that payment goes directly to you, to this address, as a recurring payment rather than a one-time payment. Okay. So once they approve and they set up payments, that's the only difference is instead of collecting a one-time payment, you're setting up recurring payments. Right. Okay. So it's slightly different, but if you had a merchant account, then you should be fine. I did have one. I don't, I've, I've asked them to just, I don't know why, because of the name. That's right. I didn't want the name. Gotcha. The business name, it was obsolete, and so I asked them to remove it. Ah, uh, okay. So I don't know what they've put me to. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't got a clue. I probably am basic. I would think if you've still got your merchant ID, it still should function. Because pretty much that's, that's the main key of having the from the basic basic account to having the premier account. Okay. Merchant code lets you go both ways. Okay. Well, so I think since yours is still in there, you should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because I kept asking them, why do I still have a merchant account? But hey, <laughs> I'm happy to have it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'd just like to get a few things started so I can be out there, I guess. Um, while I'm training on all this other stuff. Yeah, definitely. Being out there, I would say the MSI link is the easiest way to promote because that will funnel everybody through everything else. Um, you'll make sure that you update your usernames. So once you're in the, in the steps, um, step one, you'll need to update your username for the Open Jacket Network. You'll I did. Get in there. I did. All right, and then if you update your LSN name, then then you are all set for the free steps. Those are like pretty much the only two action items to make sure that you complete. Other than that, you know, sharing the MSI link will allow people to sign up directly to MSI under you, similar to what Rance did, and then they will be able to follow all of the steps right behind you. So that's just taking that link and sharing it with people, right? Correct. Okay. And they'll get access to the same system. They'll get access to me, which I'll help them train. I'll help answer their questions while you're working on, you know, training and going through your videos. I can help them with a session like this, you know, all of that type of thing, you know, the questions that they have and what they're trying to set up, all of that's available. Now, how can I go back and check, um, like in this system, that I've put my username? Because I know I did it in um, Open Jacket. When you go here and you click, this will be your name instead of mine. Okay. If you didn't put it in, it'll still have my name. Okay. And that's on one? Yep. Step one and step two. Okay. 
So either one, if you if you haven't changed it, it will still say my name. Okay. So okay. that's that's how you check to make sure that it's something different. And then your links to promote will update. So if you haven't put in your link to promote in Open Jacket and LSN, they won't have a username here. It will well, be blank. Well, mine's Go Health to Wealth, um, and, and and I've seen it up on that top one. Yep. So the top one will automatically pull. This okay. automatically happens because you've signed up for the MSI concept. Right. So that one automatically gets filled out. Once you complete step one, it will fill out this one. Once you complete step two, it will fill out this one. And what and what were they for again? They're for the Open Jacket Network and for LSN. The, the same ones in step one and two. Okay, so but if anybody goes to that top one that I promote, it'll take them to both, right? It will take them to they'll already be inside. If they go to it from outside of here, so if they're if they're looking at step one and step two, they're already inside. Okay. If you send them to that top link, they will get access to the step by step system. Right. And then obviously one of the steps tells you to go over to open jackets right. and sign up. Yeah. And then they will get yours. So here you haven't put in your LSN username yet. Right. And I believe in one of the areas it said put in the link what I want to promote and I've put in my my um, affiliate link. Yeah, that will be that will go in to anyone that you sign up. It will have a link to them to connect to you from your sponsor's details and that will happen in the Open Jacket Network. Right. So when you're in the Open Jacket Network, it'll have your sponsor's offer. So it'll have here your sponsor's opportunity. Okay. Yep. That will that will be there. Okay. So when you, that that is always in there as well. So that's why it's always great to follow all the steps. As as you complete the steps, you're not only gathering leads, you're promoting your opportunity. You're getting you're getting so many different eyeballs on so many different things. It allows you to connect with more people. Okay. So you don't have to have any people that are just interested in, say, nutrition or weight loss. They can be interested in something completely different, but they still connect with you on Open Jacket and everything else, and they start working with you, and you guys may work on something together later in the future. But if not, then you still have all of these tools and platform to connect you with. Okay. Okay. Well, I'd really like to know about the blogger system for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the Google front page system. Definitely, <laughs> but I want to get. I, I need to know what to put there first. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, from the most part, with with the blogger platform, don't be afraid to put anything on there. As long as you're post, uh, when you're early on, it's good to have a little bit of a focus because then you can start building a a, a followship. Right. But for the for now the the level that I'm at, I I can post literally whatever I want on here. It doesn't it doesn't matter what I'm posting. Right, but you have to have a blogger page set up, right? Correct. Yeah, and and not hard to set one up at all. If you have a Google, if you have a Gmail account, you basically already have one set up. They're just waiting for you to tell them to turn it on. Okay, I think I have two Gmail accounts. I just don't remember them. <laughs> yeah, once you once you. Once you connect via Gmail, um, there's there's once you go into the Google particular platform of your account, it'll ask you for Blogger, and it's just one it's just one of the things that you can set up. Right, and that and that gets posted out to the internet for, as soon as you post a blog. Correct. Yes, and I'll show you once you get it set up. Um, it's also in the account linkage video. There is a tool that I use that will allow you to interlink your accounts. Okay. And that's all in the account linkage video in step five. Okay. So when you go to step five and you do the click here, um, the account linkage video will show you the tool that I use with Blogger and how you get that linked and set up. Okay. And it shows you all of the different pages that I have linked. So here's where you connect all your Facebook pages, connecting StumbleUpon, um, connecting through. This is the tool that I use with Twitter feed, and once you connect that, it links to your other accounts. That's how I post to Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn all at the same time. Oh, wow. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> watching that video will all of them? get you all of that. Um, it shows you About Me, which is another place where you can post which that pulls my, my blog post as well. 
Um, Tumblr pulls my blog posts. Uh, there's just a there's several different pages that are set up that will will show you all of how to do so. Okay. Well, what I might do is finish the um, kindergarten. I've got about ten minutes left on that. All right. And then go over here and do the training here. But I want I want to set up two the two pages to get them them going. Or yeah. All right. That time I'm muted. Um, All right. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the basis of 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 everything that you have inside of the system. Um, definitely get through the training. If you have any questions in between, you can always contact me. You can always message me at any time. Um, I try to respond pretty quickly. And then if you do need say, hey, you can't figure something out or you're struggling with something to say, hey, can you show me how to do this? And we'll we'll schedule a time for a session and I'll walk you through it. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. I mean, welcome to the MSI concept. This is what we're all about, helping you grow, helping you gain your following, build your brand of yourself. And, you know, eventually you'll be the full first page of Google and leads will be looking for you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> That's where I want to be. <laughs> How well, long did it take you to get there? <laughs> I, I mean, I've seen it happen as little as 30 days. Really? Oh, yeah, wow. I mean, the, the, the content is all there. So, I mean, the, the, fast, the more time that you have to get through it all and to take the action steps, right? then the faster it happens. Okay. So, I mean, the main thing that is picking your brand, once you've picked your brand, you know, whether it be your name, whatever it happens to be, once you've picked your online brand, make sure that you've changed everything to your online brand name and then you market only that. See, that's, uh, that concept is what I can't get. Branding, 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 branding what? <laughs> so my, my brand started out as just my name. Right. It's, that's all it was, just my name. I built my whole website, everything, and I went with just my name. So my name alone is the full first page of Google. Then I created the MSI concept. So now I have the branding with both. So now I'm beginning the brand of the MSI concept, you see all of my videos that I've done on it. Yeah. That's one thing I don't know how to do with the videos. Yeah, if you don't have any particular brand to build, like my, my other protege, which is uh, Leslie, her brand became Queen's House of Beauty. And this is all of hers. You, I say if you don't have a particular brand that you want to start with, start with your name. Okay. Because well, that's, people, that's why I chose Go Health to Wealth. Yeah, you can, you can go with that. Now, the other thing with that is you're going you're gonna to go health to wealth. You're, you're limiting yourself to the health and wealth industry. Yeah, right. So, you know, that's why, that, that's why um, you know, I have my name and the MSI concept. The MSI concept is customizable. I can constantly change that. Now, you can still constantly modify health and wealth, but if you were, say, to do health and wealth and then solely started promoting GCN, doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so the name's it, right? <laughs> <laughs> But you can always you can always put your name in front of Go Health and Wealth. Okay. So it's not that you have to abandon it. It's that you'll want to put something else in front of it and make that your focal point. Right. And Go Health to Wealth. Uh, wealth is W E A L T H, like money wealth. Yep. Not wellness. Yeah, and and, and that's what I'm saying. But the the health part to wealth. Yeah. The health part is going to have to have something with health. That's what I'm saying. If you were, if you were, say, go health to wealth and solely promoting GCN, where's the health part come in? Yeah. But you know, it, it's it's one of those things to where it, it it's neither here nor there uh -huh. because it's all about kind of how you spin it. Mm hmm. So it, once once you have that particular name, you just put your name in front of it. Right. 
So like if you want to go health to wealth and that's your company, that's your brand, you know, you're going to put Lynn Jones in front of that. Uh -huh. So it's me that's promoting this and this now has turned into that. Yeah. So you just kind of make sure that people are going through your, you know, your front line first, you know, and I tell everybody, you know, that's why there's so many different companies before the MSI concept and what we have, because we put ourselves before each one of these companies. Yeah. They're coming here because they have met me. They've seen my website. Now you came here because, you know, obviously Rance introduced it to you. Right. So, you know, they, they come in and as you can see, you know, Rance is already on the leaderboard by referring you. Right. So, you know, with that, it, it's they, you, you're able to take so much out of the equation, you know, as far as the company and what you're doing, you know, what's going on. It's, it's more leverage. Hey, you just got to check this thing out. You know, it's, it's, there's more training. This is, you know, and, and what I tell people to do when they're early starting on related to the experience that you had yourself. And that's more back to branding yourself. You know, yeah. you're going to tell them, you know, the experience that you had, what you found about it and what you like about it and what interested you and what it got you to jump on board. Mm hmm you know, this is what I found, you know, this is what I ran into. This is what I found. This is why I like that's better. And I, I think you should check it out. Okay. You don't have to do anything more than that because they're, they're going to come in and they're going to get this same type of treatment. They're going to get the customization. They're going to feel the same thing that you felt. Right. Okay. And then the, the main thing is there's customization here. There's no one size fits all. There's no putting square pegs in the round holes. You know, everybody's different. That's why there's so much, there's, that's why there's so many different avenues here with the MSI concept. So many different paths that you can go down. We all have the same goals in the end, but there's so many different ways to get there. Right. And we don't, we don't hear the MSI concept. We don't try to control how you get there. Uh -huh. Say, okay. here's, a, here's some paths that we've mapped out. Here's what we like. But, you know, you can use these same so the same software to customize it to anything that you're currently doing. Right. So where do I go here to upgrade, though? If you're inside of here, everything's going to be in the tools. So you can upgrade from either step one, going through the Open Jacket Network. That has an upgrade if you wanted. LSN has an upgrade if you wanted. And then you have step three, which gives you all of the additional product lines. All right. Now, can I just make a comment that on step two, mm -hmm. you see those two, the couple there? Yes. I can't, I can't hear them. You can't hear them. All right. I will let that be known. They're playing right now. Let me just see what's going on hey with guys, this. this is and see, you can hear it. Yep. I can hear it. Yeah, guys, this year has been a Are you able to hear it? For us. We've been I can hear it on yours, but when I go to play it, it I can't hear a thing. All right, let me log in as you, and I will see if maybe the trickle down, it needs to be adjusted. There it is. There it is. I will talk to the developers if something is awry. No? Yeah, playing. We have a product that just. <laughs> what can I tell you? Won't play on mine. <laughs> well, if it does happen not to play, try clicking on this button for YouTube and bouncing out. And I did that too, and it wouldn't that, play. Did that wouldn't play? No. Nope. Make it the best compensation plan in the world. And we walk the walk, so we do know what you need. Let me see if I can do But something. you know what? After they finish, though, the next part of it plays. Plan because we truly wow. believe that when you pair tools that just make sense with the compensation plan that's as good as it can get. Because after they finish, something else comes on. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, there's a it's a two part video. Right. And that and I can, you can hear. see this, you can hear that whole part. Yeah, but I can't hear them too. <laughs> that's weird. That is weird. It makes sense. And I can't wait for you to see those enhancements. And number two, our compensation plan is new. I mean, for the most part, they're, they're going into LSN, um, you know, just because LSN had a 1.0. There was an original version. So they're kind of saying, hey, you know, welcome to the new version. We do have some new things in store. Uh, you know, more is coming out, you know, kind of just saying, you know, hey, this is 
we had our old system, we've, we've kind of revamped it. And then the second part is really what goes into everything else. Yeah. So, what do you see? so there isn't, there isn't, there isn't much that they, they toss up in the first part. What? Yeah. So you definitely didn't didn't miss out on much. Yeah. Yeah, because I heard the first time I played it, I heard it. Okay. Then I had to go off and do something, so I put it back, and then I couldn't hear it no more. Yeah, that's that's definitely strange, especially to to go out and then play the other half. <laughs> yeah, and then the other half plays the problem. <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely uh, report and see if uh, if if you can capture that in any way. Doing a a a, ca a screen capture using the Gene tool um, that's in Open Jacket Network or Zoom. Um, if you can capture that, definitely let me know. Um, you know, because if I can get it captured, I can definitely send it off to the developers and say, "Hey, this is a problem." Okay. But yeah, if I would have been able to replicate it, I would have captured it on this and I would have snipped it out for them and said, "Hey." Fix this. Fix it. Like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll sit here with my phone, record it, and then send it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that is that is just definitely strange that you know I've seen some videos that'll start up and they won't really play, and that's why you know I always say you know try the YouTube button because then it'll bounce out to YouTube, and that usually that usually works. But if that didn't work either, then yeah, that's it's something with that that particular portion of the video. Yeah, uh, you have to but be it works fun. just fine for you. Yeah, it works just fine. That's just be me. I'm not meant to hear them too. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that video is in the LSN back office too before you upgrade. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get back to see it. But I'm pretty sure that video is uh, is in the welcome video when you're a free member. Right. But um, yeah, definitely. Other than that, I mean, uh, yeah, I would say watch watch the videos when you're ready. Get the get the full LSN system because that's going to let you market everything forever. Um, especially with, I mean, just alone, the the email broadcasts are worth it alone because you have unlimited emails that you can send out with unlimited contacts. Right. So just to kind of give you a glimpse of what some people pay just on email campaigns alone. A common, I'm not sure if you know of a lot of email. Yeah, yep. yeah. so just doing a, a comparison of of a of Aweber. Let me see where their pricing is. I know it's on here somewhere. So I was doing it once before. Their standard pricing. So for me in particular, I have currently a list of fifteen thousand leads. Right. So for my 15,000 leads, it would cost me $150 a month uh -huh. just to have them as subscribers. Right. I pay $150 a month for the entire, L the entire MSI concept LSN software system, right. which allows me to give you guys that same system for free, uh -huh. which allows me to give you those capture pages and everything that I've built instantly made for you. Right. So for the same price it would cost me just to email you, I have all those other tools intact for you. Okay. Okay, so to upgrade to that, it would be $30 a month, right? Yeah, to upgrade an LSN is $30 a month, and that gives you what the average person – so a person with literally just 500 email subscribers pays the price that you would pay in LSN. Right. And you get to email as much as you want. Much it's unlimited. Right. Um, so how would you? How would you? Uh, okay, going uh, back. Here, to here's that. the here's the proof in it. Here, contacts allowed, unlimited. Emails allowed, unlimited. Okay. So how would you send multiple emails? So when you're in the email broadcast, right? You'll title your email. You'll write it up, and you can send it to your contacts or your downline. 
Okay, so and then just send it to all of them. Yep. So what I normally do is I select my downline, and then you can select your contact groups. So if I have different groups that I, I want to send it to, which is generally the MSI concept for all of the active leads that I have, but I can send it to all of these leads at the same time as my downline. Right. Okay. So, but when you have the entrepreneur system, it's a little bit different for me as well, being the system. Not only can I email everyone that's in my downline, I can email all of your contacts as well. <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a little added bonus that you get for being upgraded to the entrepreneur level is not only do you have your leads, you have every lead. As you can see, I was able to log in as you. I didn't sign you up directly. You're yeah. Rance's lead. But I can I I can see all of you, all of your the, the sign up information. Yeah. Being the owner of the system. So that's a perk that you have with the LSN system is being able to sign up being able to see all of the leads. So yeah. here I click on this little button instead of showing only the admin's contacts, now I can see everyone's contacts. Okay. I can see the ones that Leslie has entered in and which helps with growing your team. If you're if you're a large team builder, there's tons and tons of people that lose their downline day in day day and night. Right? You know, when they sign up for these companies because they end up so far down the list, they have no information for them. Hmm. They have no way to contact them, no way to follow up. You know, no information other than if somebody says one of their downline leaders says, hey, you really need to talk to Tyson. You really got to talk to that guy. You know, other than that, I don't have any. If it was just in a normal system, most of the downlines for any other network marketing company, you can't peer down more than maybe one or two generations. Yeah. If that. And when you when you can't peer down that far, you don't have information to follow up with them. You have one method of contact with them, and that's whatever the other person gave to them. Right. So here, we have multiple ways to get in contact with the lead. So as as that, I have who signed you up here. So I know Rance did. Here's his yeah. username. I have your email address. I have a phone number for you. Once you get signed up for Traffic Tsunami, which is also in step one, and you get your free sign up there. Traffic Tsunami will also put you in the downline where you have Facebook contact. So because you log in via Facebook, one click, there's the Facebook page. Now I can send you a Facebook message as well. Yeah. So we have multiple ways set up within our system to get in contact. You know, not only from the emails there in the MSI concept, there's emails in LSN, there's emails through um, also with the open jacket, uh, there's direct contact with the lead itself, you know, so all of that's there when you're, when you get to the entrepreneur level. But I'd say if you don't, if you, if you haven't really learned on generating a lot of leads or, or have a full lead list, then I wouldn't say you would, you probably won't need entrepreneur for a while. Right. Yeah. Cause I don't have a full lead list. Oh. Uh, last month I did very little marketing. I signed up 11 people with the automated automation of the system. Yeah. Remember I did a little bit of marketing and I signed up 24 people. Right. So, but what I'm saying is um, when you do your marketing, it means you've got to post to Facebook and do your blogger, right? Correct. So I'll show you different posts that you can do, um, especially once you have a page. Um, Traffic Tsunami does a lot of different posting as well. They use a meme generation style. So you have that style as well. Um, you can use that. I use a group style from my page because I like to watch the interaction. So I'll show you one of my other posts. I used to have it, have it pinned to the top, but I just took it down like a week ago. That's the other problem I have is when you load your header pages, Head of pictures and stuff that mm -hmm. don't fit. I don't know how to resize them. <laughs> the great thing is we have, if you're posting on Facebook, you then you'll be glad to use Traffic Tsunami because it's already posted for you. We already have it sized. So this is one of Traffic Tsunami's posts. This right. is what it looks like when you generate a meme. When they click on this, 
it takes them over to Traffic Tsunami to sign up directly. And that will be coded to you once you once you use the meme generator. So the, the whole picture itself becomes a link. Right. Um, that's the one style of posting. Let me go to my other one, which I don't know how far down it is. Okay, that's, that's for posting. But what I'm saying is when I set up my page and I want to put a header picture, and now I'm in the process of changing it all because I'm concentrating on the mission to feed starving children. So I want to put a picture in there of uh, the life bar with the starving children and it don't fit. Okay, then that's also inside of the Open Jacket Network. I believe it's, I want to say it's fourth grade, but I'll give, you, I'll give you the advanced tip here. Once you're inside of here and you go to capture pages, you go all the way to the end, right. this particular capture page tells you the exact size of every hey, photo nice on Facebook. Service. And Tyson has a little video that goes along with it. Okay. So this has every single dimension of how you need to set up that image to make it fit. This is every single set of page. Permalink, sidebars, desktop, mobile, you know, every single portion. Thumbnail pictures, how big they should be, how big your link should be. How big your cover photo should be? Everything. Yeah, it's the cover photo and profile photo that I that I want to know about. Yeah, so they're all in there. You can watch that video. Um, it is on that capture page, so it, you can utilize that capture page as well to direct people in the type of training that they get in the open jacket. But that's what I was talking about with the open jacket. It's more geared on online marketing and a lot of to do with Facebook because those are the type of things that you'll learn with the open jacket network. Right. So it's all geared on on different posting strategies, when to post, where to post, how to post. Uh, mostly gearing towards Facebook because that it's that's the biggest social media giant there is. Nobody's going to end up with more members than Facebook. Okay. You know, where you're at. Yeah. There, I I don't know. It's probably like close to a billion people or something like that. It's huge. Uh huh. So, um, you know, and the advertising space with Facebook, uh, with what we're doing with Traffic Tsunami, we'll probably end up taking over a lot of advertising space with the way that we're going to be marketing solely inside of Facebook. So with the Free Will Boot Camp and being everything tied inside of Facebook well, where people never leave, Facebook likes that. Right. So that is another style of posting that we will have throughout 2016 that will give you that other kind of difference maker from everybody else that's posting on the internet is you will have something that is different than every, what everybody else is seeing. Right. Okay. And that's, that's all you really have to do with, with marketing these days is make yourself just that little bit different than everybody else. Right. And you'll set yourself apart, which we talk a lot about in the training in the MSI concept, especially when you hear me on the conference calls. I'll talk a lot about that, of setting yourself apart from everybody else mm -hmm. that's marketing anything on the Internet. And the main thing that you can start with is your name because your name is different for the most part than everybody else's. Uh -huh. So, you know, once you've gathered your namespace, then you can market anything after your name and it can be whatever you want. Okay. And that, that, that goes for if you change companies, if you decide to do something else 10 years later, if you marketed your name all the way up, it doesn't matter what you're promoting behind your name. Everybody is synonymous with your name and success. Okay. Very well. And that's, that's what, you know, having this type of LSN system is good for because if I wanted to come in here and go to all these leads and email them and say, hey, I just came out with this new – training retreat. I want everybody to go to this weekend retreat. You know, if you sign up 10 people, it's all paid for. Uh -huh. And that's something that I'm looking at doing. Okay. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> what? Uh, and the weekend retreat, do we stay in our own homes and do it online? No, we're going to go somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> The, the plan right now, and I'm talking with Jared because he wants to do one now as well, mm -hmm. um, uh, being a travel agent as one of the product lines, 
Um, I want to, I was looking at doing a, a group cruise just because I like cruise and a lot of people haven't been on them and they're awesome. Everyone should at least do it once. Yeah. And, but then you have, you have to where it's going to be farther for some than others, you know, depending on where, where it, where it takes off from. Right. So, and then there's not always the greatest of internet connection. So I want to be able to be somewhere to where we can broadcast it as well for the people that couldn't make it. So we're still going to be mapping out exactly where we want to do. And I'm debating if I, if we're going to put something together with traffic tsunami, or we're going to have something solely MSI concept or how it's going to really shake out. But that's the plans coming up, you know, for later in the year. Uh huh. Okay. But we definitely want to gather everyone so everyone can actually meet, mingle, the, you know, learn the successes, train with each other, grow with each other, all of that great stuff. We'll have a lot more of these hangouts, the group sessions as well. Um, Traffic Tsunami does them nightly. So there's ones already for Monday through Friday. Um, I usually run my hosted sessions on Saturdays. Um, and then we have usually the one-on-one -on -one private type sessions like these are usually on Sundays. Yeah. And these are basically best for me. As I said, I work to eight Monday through Thursday. Friday's my day off, and usually I can't, you know, that's supposed to be for my business. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, and I'm usually up pretty late, so I mean, it, you know, these times, you know, if it's later in the evening, that's fine with me. We can definitely hop on sessions. Okay. Excellent. That's great. Yeah. Good. Uh, and, and hey, two thumbs up. Much better than the uh, the other program. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I, it, it, you know, with putting everything together, I took a lot into mind and into account a lot of the pitfalls that people have already been through. And I tried to, you know, kind of sure up those little pitfalls so that you don't run into those same problems. You yeah. know, having all of the tools in place, having having a full step-by-step -step system, having a lot of marketing videos – keeping up to date content on top of that, you know, keeping constant content and then customizing it for each person. Cause every person needs that little bit of, you know, how do I do this for me uh -huh. type of type of training and not a lot of places do that. Right. Okay. Good. Well, I certainly hope that Rance can get his head around this. Because hey, you, you, we definitely will. I, I'm going to be uh, probably on this same time tomorrow with Rance. Mm -hmm. yeah so. yeah but the problem with rance is he doesn't i guess he's going to go to the library i don't know um he's got another lady helping him set up facebook but this teaches you how to set up facebook yep you know it teaches you to set up all your accounts i mean yeah. i've already got those accounts but for somebody who's a beginner it, he can train on this exactly so you get a little bit of everything yeah this will be good for him. He just needs to have the time to put into it. <laughs> and then, I mean, there's there's so much content between between me and my partners and what we set up. I mean, Tyson has a good, I think, seven hours of content just on the K through six. I have another, I think it's four hours of content. And then Jared has another, I want to say it's two and a half hours just right. in the boot camp. Right. So, I mean, just in putting in that time, you're looking at an extra 10 hours, which for the most part isn't going to happen in one day for anybody. No. You know, so you've got, you know, two or three days worth of content, which is usually going to stretch across two or three weeks for the average person. Right. But it's all there for you in recorded format. So you can go at your own pace. You can learn the parts that you need to learn. And you can also go back if something didn't make sense. You know, you can watch it a couple of times. Right. And though, uh, there's, a, there's a question I want to know. Like, say, for instance, I set up those pages and I press save or submit, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Can I later on go and change those? Yeah, you can go back and change it. Okay. Or you can just delete it and create a whole new one. So what happened to me, like, uh, with LSN, they were, they were thinking about phasing out a domain. So what happened with one of my pages because it was using the older pages which they were going to phase them out completely these classic pages these 219 ones right they were going to phase them out completely 
and these per, these other pages, these all ones that are here in blue, they were all built with those older pages. So they decided to to uh, unhost that domain name and see how many pages broke. Yeah. Well, that broke 15 pages of mine. And I had to literally go in and I built all of these additional pages, the same exact information, built all these different pages. It took me about 20 minutes to put them all together. But I went and built a whole second set of pages and made that available to everybody as well. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have to deal with that. Okay. So it was like, hey, these pages, the, the, I, I noticed that the pages went down before everybody else on the team did, but it was like, hey, there's already new pages in your back office. Go check out the new pages. And they didn't even know that it had broken. It was just like, hey, you have new ones. Go <laughs> check them out. Okay. So, you know, and that's the other thing that's with this system for as far as, as, as you get anyone that's like growing as a leader or, you know, that has training or wants duplication, this, this is what's going to help rants the most. I can create something and share it down to the team and it updates for you. Right. So you don't have to build everything. See, these are already built for you and they're already in your LSN back office. Right. They're already available to you. So there's, there's, that's the, that's the major thing that helps for a lot of people that aren't very technical right. is something can be created for you. And it's a whole lot easier to go in here and click edit and change a couple of things, whether it be the video, you know, most of the time it's just going to be the video and the redirect link. That's a whole lot easier than trying to create an entire page. Even though the wizards, the wizards pretty easy, but I mean, it, it, it's even better when you can just copy and paste. Now, what's the redirect link again? The redirect link is going to be where the person goes after they've filled out the capture page. So once the, once they enter in this information, they click find out more. When they click that button, that's where the redirect goes. Right. But we, we to don't... Whatever link that you set. Okay. But that's if you personalize it. If you leave it as it is, though, and you edit it, what, what would I have to edit in there again? Like, say, the travel one. Yeah, so if you're going to edit it, you're going to edit the video, which you're going to click on the video, and then you click edit, and you're going to change it to your, your YouTube link. So whatever YouTube video you want, so, you know, if you just want whatever video it is. Right. Yeah, no, no, no. But if I want to leave it as the travel, uh -huh. say I want to leave it, I want to... I wanna, I want to publicize the travel. Okay? Yeah. So what you're gonna what you're gonna change is the redirect link. Right. So mm -hmm. if you're if you're using the travel, you want to change this link to make sure that it's your link once you become licensed. Because you want to make sure that 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 lead is going to your website to sign up rather than mine. Right. So where would I get that after you get licensed? You'll get after you get licensed, you'll have your link. Okay. So once you, once you choose the product line that you want to get licensed in, which you can either go through the funnel and go to that as well, or you can come into your back office. They both go to the same exact place. You actually go to that same page and you, you fill out through and you go through. So once you go through, it takes you to the page to sign up. So you follow the same path that anybody else would pay, follow if they came right off the internet, so you know the exact path that they've gone through. Right, and then where do you sign up? So right here, join us, right at the top. Okay. So you've got the join us here, you've got a big join us button here, you've got a join us button down here. Okay. So you click on join, fill out your location, which travel currently has, I want to say, 190 different countries. So you have a lot of, a lot of room to grow, to expand your reach, uh -huh. uh, which is one of the main reasons I picked this particular company is because of its reach. Like there's countries I've never even heard of <laughs> in here. <laughs> so it's, it, you know, having that reach, like Cote de Devore, I, I've met like six people from there. And, you know, there's, when I was formulating the MSI concept, I kept telling them about it. I'm, you know, I'm creating, getting the platform, getting everything set up. You know, they're like, well, what opportunities are going to be available in my country? And before I had found this, 
you know, there wasn't anything directly available for them. That's how I already had the compensation set up to where they would get split commissions off of everything. Okay. So that's where that idea came from because there's people in other countries that couldn't necessarily sign up for that particular program, but they still knew people that would have been interested in it. They found me, they could easily find anyone else that's in the U S mm -hmm. but you know, having this particular program, it has so many different countries in it. Now they have something they can actually earn residual income off. Of. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's really huge. And this has a huge team build as well that we'll be pushing more into, you know, as far as, as far as that goes as well. Um, but you know, there's definitely, definitely a lot of great, great different things that you can utilize inside of here, you know, as far as the different companies, um, you know, and as they modify and they change, you know, but I focus on the consumer based side of it because not only does that let you build up contacts and leads, but it also helps you close different sales that can build your income. Mm -hmm. So there's people that will purchase the product lines that we have set up right. without any opportunity at all. I have customers that purchase travel packages from me that will never join the business. Right. So you can continue to make money, which is what a lot of people struggle in making money, trying to find constantly recruit people because not everybody wants to do the business side of it. Right. Right. They might, so, be more, they might be more interested in joining the business side of Evolve Health with the bars, but they still want to go on trips. Right. You know, that that is where you get to connect with more people that might not necessarily join your business but they still want the products that you have. Right. Yes. And the, especially with the weight loss and the feeding the child. Yes. That awesome. Awesome. What they've done with that bar. It's just amazing. Exactly. And what are people that, well, you know, once they lose all that weight and they're looking good, that got that bikini body back, they got to go show yes. it off. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> There's no reason why I can't support all the other links. But the weight loss link and the nutrition link, uh, that's what my business is. Yes, exactly. And that's where you swap those out with your video and your link. Right. And it's just then the matter of promoting them or using this blogger system. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Learn another system, Daryl. Yep. <laughs> Get up with it. But the beauty of that is that it, you can link all your other accounts to it. Correct. Now, do you write your own blog or do you? Yes, everything, everything that you see on this site on camcalendar.com was written by me. Okay. I wrote all of the, all of everything, all of the images posted, everything on this site, the banners, the cat, this, this contact form, all of this was all written by me. Oh, the so only that thing that's not written by me is the Google AdSense ad. And that's because Google pays me to have them. So I let them keep posting whatever the hell they want. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you and it's, it's Google based. So it's gonna, it's gonna be based off of, so since I was just looking at travel, this is what pops up. So it's based on the things that you've searched since we were looking at Shopify earlier today, which is the, the software that I use for my store uh -huh. in the Google ad. Right. So it's all, it's all relevant advertising as far as what's going to be in that ad space based on the viewer. Right. And Google captures so much information. They have pretty much everything that you've searched, everything that you've looked at for the past six months to a year. So their, their ads are pretty on point. Right. So I think I have an AdSense account, but it was connected to a different business. I guess I can still use the same account, right? Yeah, you can still use the same account. I would definitely recommend using that, that AdSense account connected to your Gmail account, whichever one you want to use and then connect your blogger because then you will instantly get ad space already on your blogger. Oh, okay. So how does that work again? As far as how to connect it? Yeah. So go to your AdSense account, Right. find out which Gmail account it's connected to. Right. So once you get into it, here I'll show you. I'll show you my AdSense account. Yeah, I think it's um. So once you get into it, it will, it will have which Gmail account. Right. You're That's connected to. Ultimate lock. Ultimate lock one. 
So if it, it you can you can change it if you need to, but I would say if it's already connected to one, then use that account to create your Blogger, and then you'll instantly have your AdSense account linked to Blogger, and that's what gives you the ads. Yeah. If you don't have AdSense, you don't get the ads. Yeah. And then you don't get to monetize your blog without posting a bunch of banners, which I already have on mine, but you get ad credits just on your page views and everything growing, plus everybody clicking on that. Yeah. And then once you have your AdSense set off off of your blog, you can then take it over to YouTube since Google owns YouTube as well and you can monetize your YouTube channel. Which if you start with your AdSense on Blogger and you create some views from there, you can get your, at your channel monetized that much faster. So all of my videos on YouTube are monetized. Yeah. So they have a little dollar sign with them. Yeah. Except for this one, since it came from uh, my PlayStation broadcast, which I think I can monetize that too. Let's see if it'll let me. I think it just doesn't by default. -da -da -da. Monetize. <laughs> and now that video is monetized. So what does that mean? Every time somebody goes there or something, you get paid? Yes. So, well, it's going to be under review right now, but I'm pretty sure they'll monetize it. Um, basically, have you, I mean, have you heard that people have gotten money off of YouTube? Yeah. So that is where it comes from, monetization. So what YouTube, every video that you go to nowadays that you'll see, there's usually a little ad that pops up. Hey guys, Cam Callender here. Back so this little yellow dot the MSI is an advertisement. What we're going to be doing for the next 90 days is really gearing down. The Every video has a yellow dot, so usually about 15 page, seconds in, 10 or 15 like, seconds in. Okay. Yeah. And you the always see these. If you're then, lucky, you'll get the opening advertisement. Let me see if we can get hey lucky guys, enough Cam to pull one up. Hey guys, Cam Callender. Hey, Let me go to one of their main videos. And so these have to be your very own videos? For you to get paid on them, yes. Okay. So let me see if this one will probably have one. Nope. Usually trailers are pretty good at adding it. So this is an ad. Right. And you'll usually have this little skip, yeah, the skip button here. Yeah. So this is a monetization ad that this person who posted this video is now, since I watched that entire ad, is getting paid an advertising credit. Oh, okay. So just because I let that ad go all the way through and didn't skip it, they get more credit when it's not skipped. Right. But basically with monetization, it will it will put those ads in your videos. Ninety percent of the time, it'll be the before ad. If you, once you've gotten so many videos, but pretty much a hundred percent of the time on monetization, you'll see that little yellow yellow dot, right. which will be the pop up ad that everyone's seen. And if someone happens to magically click on that, you can get anywhere from ten cents to like a dollar fifty, depending on what it was. Uh huh. Wow. So it all just depends on you know who advertised what and what they paid for and what the click was and what they did after they clicked. Uh huh. So here my view my video already got monetized. They reviewed it and monetized it in what? What do we what it took like thirty seconds? <laughs> yeah. So because I've monetized so many videos, they, they look what they look for for my videos for the most part is if it has any other copyrighted material. So if it's, it has anything from anyone else, right. like music or anything else like that, that somebody else already has rights to. If it doesn't, they can pretty much monetize it. And I also have a, a Creative Commons use to where YouTube can reuse my videos. Right. So I can get paid twice. Uh huh. So that's another achievement that you can get once you've posted so many videos. They'll say, hey, can we use your videos somewhere else on YouTube? And I said, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs>
So, uh, but monetization will help a lot with that. Um, you know, so getting the videos all set up. Um, as far as the videos, literally just, um, you know, you can either get in front of your camera and talk, or you can get a platform like Zoom where you can turn on and off the video. So I can choose to record the video and just have my picture up. I can choose to, you know, just do my screen. You know, in those different type of things, I can have my video playing. You know, it, it, it's all different types. Okay. And Zoom, does that cost anything? Zoom is free. Huh. So I have a lot of tools that are free. Why? <clears throat> I found a lot of them. I use a lot of them, and I make sure that we've got the best ones that are free, so it doesn't really cost you anything. I don't want you paying out a lot of money until you start making money. Right, because I don't have any to pay out anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the whole premise of the MSI concept to earn more money. Right, and is there an app for the a cell phone for Zoom? Uh yes, there is. Okay. So you, you, I can take my phone and and, and take videos of stuff. <laughs> so if you do ev eventually evolve to the paid version of Zoom, let me know. I do have an affiliate account with Zoom. I will send you the information, which actually is the other way around. I will input your information for our sales partners to contact you on behalf of the MSI concept. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do have... Um, an app they do you can either sign up with Google or Facebook it is free and they do have iPhone and Android apps okay and how much is it to upgrade for the zoom um, I believe it's $15 a month if you want a customized link so here's all the breakdowns here's the the business goes up to 19 a month which will allow you to have up to 10 hosts here's 15 a month you get 50 participants. Um, as we grow with the MSI concept, I'll probably be adding on more and more participants because I talked with the sales engineers and with the MSI concept. Um, he actually let me know of a couple other packages that are not listed here. Mm -hmm. So um, we will have access to those as well, um, which you can get with the webinar sessions. A lot. <clears throat> so, you know, depending on the growth of it, um, you know, just let us know and I'll send it over to our partners with Zoom and they can break all those down for you if you do want to upgrade. But yes, you can be completely free member, which will allow you to do exactly what we're doing here. Tons of one-on-one -on -one meetings. You can have meetings with up to 50 people and you can have unlimited number of meetings and you can record them, which is pretty okay. much the basis of what everybody needs if they're going to be doing any type of video conferencing. Right. But that only goes up to 40 minutes per meeting. The, that, that's if you're doing the group meeting, which is a different style of meeting. Okay. It's it, the group meeting is if you have, um, what did he tell me? There's a, there, it's a different style that you do. Okay. Um, I forgot what the, the group meeting style was. He told me about it, but, I kind of dismissed it because you can already do up to 50 people. So I mean, if you if your group's not larger than 50 people, All right, you're you're fine. You're safe with that. Yeah, because we've had we've already had um, our we use our Zoom account for this traffic tsunami hangouts. Right. And we've gotten up to 48 people, and we've had hangouts for longer than two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So it would be a good idea to have Zoom on my computer and on my phone, especially if I do the the Hangouts, did you say? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is definitely good to have it on both. I do jump back and forth. You'll see me sometimes, if, especially if you're on the 9 o'clock shows, you'll see me bounce out. If, if I'm usually, if you only see the image, I'm usually on my phone, and then you'll see me pop onto the camera, and that's when I've jumped onto my computer. So you'll see me switch back and forth and sometimes you'll see me in there twice when I'm switching. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely good to have both. Um, you know, that way, if, you know, whatever's going on, your computer's messing up or your phone's messing up, whatever happens to be, you can easily switch back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. There's a lot of information. Yes, there's tons of information, tons and tons and tons and more tons. Mm -hmm.
And then there's there's even more on top of what we've talked about tonight because I'm sure there'll be a ke another question and then we'll cover something completely different and it'll be another similar session. It'll be hours on covering something completely different that we didn't even talk about tonight. Right, because there's two, like you've got the um, MSI and even if you're a free member, you can earn money. Yes. Obviously, it's a different... I guess the comp plan is different to if you're a paying member. Correct. Um, and then we've got the open jacket where you can only earn money if you have got the $10 on board. Correct. <laughs> I worked that one out already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if you're a free member with MSI, um, what is the comp plan for that? So with the MSI compensation plan, it is a direct sales style compensation plan. So what basically it does is I'll show you here. Actually, I should just pull it up from my computer because I don't want to save it again. So what we, what I've built with the compensation plan, which I've reviewed, if you can see my screen here, like over 60 different compensation plans. Mm -hmm. I, started, I started saving them just to keep track of the sheer number of plans that I've done and reviewed. So what I put together is a straightforward direct sales compensation plan for free members. Mm -hmm. I wrote it all down and that's what we'll also be covering this Saturday, kind of breaking that down. Basically it's a straight one for one purchase to customer ratio. It's straight across the board. So for travel, they book a trip, you get 7% of the commission paid out or $5, whichever is greater. Cause some people will book like a one night hotel. That's oh. like a $4 commission, mm -hmm. but you'll get $5. Right. Or well, it'll they be, plan a trip overseas. Yes. Yeah, so they plan a trip overseas. That's three grand. You'll get 7%. Right. So it's, it's whichever is greater. If they become a licensed agent and you're not a licensed agent, you'll get $20 of that bonus payout. So there's mm -hmm. a bonus that pays out for, new agents, okay. which I believe is $50 right now. Uh -huh. So of that $50, you get 20. Mm -hmm. If you refer a travel member to our new platinum club, which I believe is $10, you get five of that. So you get $5 per new platinum club travel member. Okay. For the nutrition products, if they purchase a one-time order, you get $5 for that order. Right. And what if I change that to my own though? If you change that to your own, they're, they're going to, they, it's up to you if they're going to license and follow your nutrition company or they're going to use the free membership of this. So as a free member, unless you want to split your commissions, which I can show you the structure of how to do that, you can either split your commissions and have them follow in your nutrition company or they can utilize ours. It's kind of up to that free member. Right. And, and yourself as well, if you want, if you want to, to track and, and send those commissions. But that, what commissions is that? Is that commissions that I make off my, my own affiliate site? Correct. That, that, that's a portion of what I do. So what, what I get paid out from the company for a direct sale, I split that with my free members to allow them to earn money without directly signing up for that company. So without putting money up front. So if your company has a direct bonus that you get, you can utilize that kind of like an advertising budget. I, I relate this to the Amazon affiliate effect. So there's the Amazon approach, which there's a video in the back office for that as well. What Amazon affiliates does, which I'm an affiliate of Amazon as well. <laughs> this is where I learned this, comp, this part of this compensation plan. Amazon will pay anybody that sells anything on Amazon. Right. But they will only pay you a percentage of what they profit. So Amazon, say they make, say this particular sock sells for $9. If Amazon made 95 cents on this sale, they would give you 4% of the 95 cents. They don't give you 4% of the sale. Right. They give you 4% of the profit that they made. Mm -hmm. So that constantly keeps you in profit mode. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of similar to what we do at the MSI concept. I just have it laid out a little more, I would say, simplistic. 
yeah. where instead of it being a percentage on every item and tracking so many items, I made it a flat rate. That's because the products aren't, the, there's not so many different products. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of different products, but you know, like there's a ton of different trips that you can book. That's why that one's only a percentage. But as you can see, the other ones are direct payouts. Right. Um, so, you know, depending on what your company has, you can, I, we can, we can come up with a customized structure for you if you want to go that route to offer your nutrition company up, because as you become the member of LSN, if you, if you get licensed in LSN, you'll be able to share the pages that you edited with your members that come under you. So they can use your page yeah. instead of mine. Otherwise they will have to go through and edit their pages as well. Mm -hmm. But other than that, um, the only other other one that is kind of takes a little bit of math doing is the cell phones. My cell phones are all wholesale priced. So when you're on the website and anything is bought through there, you can market any price above the listed price. Right. So for example, this phone is $85. Normal retail is about 150, give or take, you know, depending on what's on sale, what's ever going on. Because yeah. electronics change their prices like airline flights. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, they, uh, you can then add in it and they have them all marked what the suggested retail is. So if you were to use the suggested retail, you would take that same $85 and you would add the $45 to it. So, and that would be the price that you would market, I'm not a math wizard, but $130. So then you would market this phone at $130. Anyone purchases for $130, you would then keep the $45 and you would come here, purchase it, it ships directly to the customer. Right, but where, where does the, what you market it for go? That goes straight to the, the affiliate. The markup goes 100% to you. Okay. So you get 100% of the markup. You keep anything over that price. So but, you can, you can mark it up to anything. Okay, but doesn't the affiliate see that $85? No, the, the, the affiliates all know where my website is. But if you're selling to a customer, they're not going to know where you purchased that from. It's going to go out as a gift purchase. They're not going to see the price. Oh, okay. So you can mark it up to any amount that you choose. Huh. Okay. And then for cell service, we're doing $10 per new customer. Roadside assistance has been the number one payout. It is $70 per, co for, per customer that signs up with a credit card. No prepaid cards. The prepaid cards do not pay out the full commission. Mm -hmm. If they sign up for a prepaid card, it drops all the way down to $10. Wow. But any, most of anybody has a major, you know, logoed credit card. That's like a bank card. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as long as it's tied to a bank account, it works. It's those little like Walmart type unnamed bank one, some kind of crazy, I don't know where it's from type of prepaid card. <laughs> <laughs> those are the only ones that don't sign up because uh, there's, there's no real tie to the person. Like anybody can put in whatever name they want and get a card. Yeah. So as long as it's tied and they can verify it's, yeah, it's a real person they'll pay out the full commission, then you get $70 for that sign up. If it doesn't pay out the full commission, then you'll get $10 for that sign up. Yeah, what about like a green dot or a bluebird? Because they, you can actually uh, register them and get a card, a proper card. If you get the proper card, we can test it out. I haven't seen a green dot that has worked yet, and I have not tried the bluebirds. Okay, bluebirds are uh, American Express. Card. Yes, I, I, I know of the card, but I haven't tried it on the roadside assistance platform. I haven't used one through there to see if they pay out the full commission on it because mm -hmm. they have, they have a, an algorithm that, that covers it. Like basically every card that's made has a, has a pre-starting sequence right? and they have a set number of pre-starting sequences that tell them, yes, this is a legitimate bank card. If it's not on their list, 
they only pay out the ten dollar commission. Okay, but it'd be interesting to know with the Bluebird um, because you can get pre prepaid credit cards from your bank as well. Yes, yes, you can, and they use a different sequence than their actual bank cards. Mm -hmm. Like I want to say, Chase has um, prepaid cards. And their bank cards start with four seven, and I want to say their uh, prepaid cards start with four six. Right. So that that starting sequence is what determines where that card is originally from. Right. <clears throat> so that wouldn't qualify if you had a prepaid Chase card or bank. I, I, the only prepaid card that I have tested and tried that did work, and that's only because I think it was because it's tied to another card is through the PayPal business debit card. Oh, okay. okay. Which is technically prepaid. I mean, if you break it down to every, every card's pretty much prepaid because you have to put money in the bank for there to be money on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's just one of those things where it, it matches up with their list. Uh-huh. And then for as far as skincare, that's another one that is a percentage um, because there's so many products on the skincare line. I think they have 52 products now. Wow. To to try and you know break it down to whatever you know to one particular product. So it is it is uh, difficult for that one. So I did mark that at a percentage. So you get 60% of the commission earned from that order. Okay. And then obviously the marketing system with LSN, you'll get $10 per the pro account and $50 per the entrepreneur account. Okay. As a free member. So if someone signs up and, and, and it rolls up to me, then it pay, then I'll pay it out to you. Uh huh. And those are all one-to-one -one payouts. It's all one-time payout, um, you know, as a free member. In order to earn any of the residuals, you do have to be licensed in that particular company. Yeah. I don't have the ability to, to set up enough of the tracking to pay you residually automatically. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's, that's mainly where the upgrades come in. It's a, it's a good problem to have. <laughs> so if it's gotten to the point where there's a residual earning, I'd say, hey, this person's signed up. You know, they're paying for a second month. You should probably get licensed in this product line, or you know, especially if you added like two or three people. Right. Yeah. So hey, you've brought on such and such customers. They've purchased these product lines. You know, you've already earned commissions off of them, but they're now coming back for residuals. So I will let you know if some if if there's a residual earning off of a customer because there's times where they'll purchase one or twice and they won't come back for like six months. Uh -huh. You know, so, but if there's a residual earning off of it, I definitely let you know and say, Hey, it might be time to get licensed in that particular product line. Okay. Great. Great. <laughs> but definitely there's, there's no obligation or pressure to upgrade any sooner than you start earning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I well, mean, I, I, I'm going to upgrade for the um, the open jacket because I'm about to shout my link out to a few people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I mean that's a that's that's the way to do it. You already have you already have some people signed up in it, and as and you can see when they're paying as well. Yeah. So you know, all you got to do is upgrade, and then you start collecting that money instead of it going past you. Uh huh. Okay. But that's that's kind of that whole that's that's the whole concept. Like you know, by reviewing so many comp plans, that's kind of where it came from. Right. You know? So so um, say can, uh, say um, ranks then decides to um, upgrade in the open jacket. D does my um, payments then go to him? Yeah. The, what I'll do is I talk to Tyson, tell him, hey, this person needs to be transferred. So what, what you can do, like um, he has, he's in the the back office here. He'll go to his member site. He'll go to here. Just like me, I can go in here and say, you signed up John Doe. I can go over here to John Doe, and I can change who he signed up for. Wrong. Okay. Yeah, except for that, it won't matter unless he has a PayPal account. Yep. 
So I go in there and I can change who he signed up under. Uh -huh. I know it's in here. <laughs> Oh, I was clicking on the wrong part. Let me find them again. So here it is. Yeah. So currently he's paid to me. This is the same thing that Tyson would see in the Open Jacket Network. So I literally just go to it and I change it to this guy. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Save. Next month it'll be going to you. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And that's that's exactly how simple it is with our softwares. So, you know, we have, you know, when you get up to the entrepreneur side, it's, it's super user friendly and, you know, it's good for us to make everything else work as well. Yeah. So it allows me to move things around, change, change everything that needs to be changed and put things in the right places. Mm -hmm. And, and obviously when you're making some money, you can get up there and do all that. Yep. Yeah. This is interesting. Definitely got to get get this cracking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've made it as, as easy as we can, you know, as far as, I mean, other than that, like I tell people, that, like especially the people that have in other countries, you know, I'm like, if you can type, you can make this work. Yeah, <laughs> basically. And 90% and of the people that I talk to are on Facebook through Facebook messages. So, and like, you're already in Messenger. You have everything that you need. Yeah. Because if, if you can send a message, then you can send this link right here. Right. And that's pretty much the only link that you really technically need to market because it connects to everything else. Right. And that will keep them directly under you. And, and it, that doesn't affect all the pages until you get them all set up, right? Correct. Okay. So, you know, but if they're under you in the MSI concept, when you promote them here, like how, how you're under rants, yep. with you being under there, then everything else, it's already tagged to rants. So I can move everything else under rants once he gets those created. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, he signed up on my platform from here because all of our systems are connected. Right. So LSN the same software, the same software that's in the open jacket. They're all the same software. We all work with the, to, with Clint, which is the CEO here. And we just tell him, Hey, I need this person moved. Cause we all use the same software. Yeah. Yep. It's like, you know, if it goes into the LSN system, that's Clint software. If it goes in the open jacket system, that's Tyson software. If it comes over to MSI, it's my software. So, you know, it's just, talking to the different guy that actually has the the button to click. Right. So LSN is different than MSI. It's the same software. Okay. The, the difference is is the tools that are inside of it. Mine is step by step on based on on network marketing. LSN is step by step based on tools. Okay. Open Jacket Network is step by step based on marketing. Right. So, but they're all built with the same software. That's why they look so similar. Okay. Tyson just liked to do a horizontal view instead of vertical. <laughs> but I believe he's in the process of changing that as well. Okay, I'm putting it across the top. Yeah. I know he just created, um, I think, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to, I think it's just Monster Lead. Maybe it's Network. Yeah. So he's, I, I'm not sure if he's going to recreate the Open Jacket, but he has Monster Lead Network as well. Guys, hi, Curtis here. Which, he uses the exact same system. <laughs> okay. So he will be using this as well. And he has a bunch of different stuff in here as well. So, so we do all use the same exact software. Bison has the earlier version. So the Open Jacket Network was all built with the earlier version. 
but you can see it has pretty much the same type of things, capture pages, sales pages, view your leads, autoresponders, pretty much similar to the same stuff that you're going to see in all of the systems. They're all, they all have kind of the same things. Okay. This, this is pretty much the same as you see in my system. So, I mean, you see a lot of the same, same things, leaderboards, conference call information, conference call information, contacts here, contacts here. You know, there's a lot, it's a lot of similarities. Hmm. So is he going to change it to the monster leads or is he going to keep the both? I'm thinking he's going to end up keeping the both. Okay. But, you know, you know, clicking here, he has the same thing. So this is – it's the same software. Tyson pay, Tyson has a few different elements that he wanted changed, that he got changed in the older system that are now kind of default for the new system. Right. So when Tyson got his system, he didn't have this button. As you can see in mine, it's already there. Uh -huh. So, you know, getting a lot of these different things changed, he has he has it – he had to get a couple of different things set up. Hmm. So, you know, when there used to be like his is step-by-step step this way, it doesn't have actual steps. So this was kind of like the first version of it. So now it's all step one, step two, step three, step four. Yeah. Interesting. So, you know, really, really the same, just kind of a little slightly different. If you, Knowing it from the beginning, because I've worked with Tyson for, I'd say it's probably been going on like four years now. Uh, you know, seeing it from the beginning of what it looked like to now how it looks with working with Clint, who is the soft, who is the owner of the software. What? It, I've seen how it, how it, it molded and changed and, and what it got changed to and to what's available now. The stuff that I used to help Tyson, what we did to change all of these little things is so much easier now to change it in here. Like if I wanted to change this description, I literally just click on a button, go to steps, and I can change the entire description. <laughs> Tyson has to recode this entire thing to change this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just it's just some of the things it's just it's it's a lot easier now with the way that we have it. Okay. So we just kind of made it a, a bit more, e a bit easier, you know, as far as to navigate through, to migrate through, to change things. Cause a lot of people like to have things changed and, and switch them up and customize them. And, and that's really where it came into where I like this system better than everything I've seen before. Even, even Tyson's old system. I like this one better, <laughs> which is why he now has the monster lead network as well. Cause he's seen everything that I put together with the new system. He's like, I want the new software. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> He's a big kid. Yeah, yeah, you'll 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 see it in in a lot of his videos. Uh huh. So yeah, you'll see us interact quite a few times, especially on the calls. We 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 do a lot of hangouts and stuff together. Uh huh. Now, did you have to eat glue? No, no, I did not have to eat glue. I was there before kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> what do you own? But I, uh, but I did eat some glue way back when. Yeah, way back in the day. What didn't we eat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell you a little trick, though. You, you get the glue bottle, you clean it out real well, and you put some yogurt in it. Yep. That's what I said. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> I thought maybe mayonnaise, but yeah, yogurt wow. as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said to Daryl. That's mayonnaise. <laughs> You can do mayonnaise as well. Yep, that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and me and Tyson definitely we've done some goofy stuff on 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 screens, and it really is just showing people that you don't have to you don't have to be so like you know a lot of people think oh I can't do videos I I have to you know I'm not sure if I can do a video just just get on there and and start talking, you know even if even if you want to turn the camera off and you just do a screen share. Even if the, even if the screen stays stagnant, you know, you can, even if you're just clicking through a couple of pages, Yeah. like if you have your Facebook page and then you have your profile and then you have, you know, like three pages just set up and you talk about those three pages and you don't even really, you know, do anything on them. You just click through them. You know, those little videos 
starting there, you know, uh, my, my other my other protege Leslie, she didn't do videos for the longest, but now she's now she's doing more videos, and she started because she would start with talking on conference calls. And I was like, you know, do it just like you do on the conference calls. Just turn the camera on. Yeah. So, you know, she, she started doing videos, you know, and I was like, just talk like you would talk on a conference call and just turn the camera on. Uh -huh. So it, it took her a while to get, to get into it, but she's, she started doing it now because I, I, she's talked great on conference calls. And she, she's always done good. And she's like, I don't know if I can get behind the camera. And I was like, just, just try it out. <laughs> Finally, she did her first video in December. Yeah, and it was eight minutes and 41 seconds long. Yeah, because she's, she's done the talking already. She's already said her story before. She knew what to say. She said it 100 times yeah. on conference calls. She just never did it in front of a camera. You know, and it, and I was like, you know, if you have to, you know, get the software. So I used to use a different software, which was Join Me, but that you had to pay for to record. That's why I switched over to Zoom because it's free to record without having to pay for anything. Right. And there was there was like six different ways you had to set it up in order to record. You couldn't just record yourself. You had to have at least two people, two to three people on the line with you to start recording. Huh. So it was a lot more complicated to record. Zoom, you can literally just load it up and start recording. You don't have to you don't have to turn on the video, you don't have to turn on screen share. You could record straight audio. Right. So, you know, and that she's working on, I have to get with her this weekend to help her with the Zoom platform, and she'll probably have like 10 more videos by the end of this month using the new platform because it's that much easier. Okay. Good. So, you know, I always try to find tools that are that much easier because I've had tools for everything. I've had systems for everything. I had a completely different system. I'll even, I'll even show you the last system. And I'll show you how entirely almost impossible it was to create pages. So this was my previous system, which I was pre-launching the MSI concept in. So in order to create pages, in order to utilize this system, you had to pay for it. This originally was not free. Right. So I was working with the CEO, and he started to implement a three-for-free program. So that was coming, but it was, it was going to take way too long for it to all get set up with the tracking and everything. But <clears throat> in essence, in order to create the pages that I had, in order to get this many pages, because there was nine different pages that were built, you would have to have upgraded to the, uh, the middle, pay, the middle uh, platform. So it was 50 bucks a month. There was a twenty. Uh, the put it this way: there was a twenty dollar a month, a fifty dollar a month, and a hundred dollar a month plan. Wow. I had the hundred dollar a month plan. Everyone else that would need to copy what I did would have to have at least the fifty dollar a month plan. Yeah. Wow. Anyone that came in with the twenty dollar a month plan got very limited access. They can only create two pages. They couldn't create all of the nine. They had to edit their own pages, so they had to create them from scratch, which I, I would have to give them the full HTML code because this is all HTML. It just happens to look pretty like that because of the way I coded it. Uh -huh. But if you just started typing in this box, it would not look like that. Yeah. So they had to get the actual HTML code, which told it exactly what font to use, it's actually what height to use, and which spacing to use. So they would have to come in here, click, enter in the HTML code, a lot of copying and pasting, put in everything, and then finally have that page set up. And this is what it would look like. So they'd have to fill out all of that information to get it looking like that. And then they would have to change the text. They would have to edit all of this kind of stuff. Yeah. And then that's all HTML editing. Not a lot of people like HTML or no HTML. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of editing that went into that, which a lot of people didn't even know. The other page was this full page, which was my original capture page or my original opening page. Like you saw on the first one, uh -huh. 
The one you had to stretch? Yeah. Not the one that I had to stretch. Oh, okay. The one that uh, that has all of the all the products in one page. So this page. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this was the original to that. So it had all of the product lines, everything under there, skincare, training, all of that. It, you know, these all rotate to the next pages and all fun. It was functional, but now these all, these all map to it. They map, I'm mapping them to my new system because this page is still up and running. There's still old links to it and all of that good stuff. <laughs> so the, the, when you post stuff on the internet, it never really dies. So it's always good to have links and update those links because you can always change to where it goes in the end. Mm-hmm. So, but this was the original page. If you were at $20 a month, you didn't even get this page. So you didn't have it. That was the old system. So you're paying 20 bucks a month for nothing, really? Yeah. So you're very limited. So when I got to the LSN system and I was like, well, now my members don't have to create pages. They can get them instantly copied to them. They don't have to edit much of anything. They don't have to know HTML at all because it says edit, they can click on it, and then they can click on it, it says edit, and here it says redirect URL. So, you know, it tells them exactly what it is. They don't have to know, they just enter in the information. So it's still the copy and paste, but you're copying and pasting exactly what you already see. Because everybody understands, oh, their link. So when I say redirect, then that's your link. You know, it's easier to understand than to Oh, you got to copy the coding for page six. And then you have to edit line 45 and 47 and 48. Right. So if I was going with the weight loss, what? No, so I was going with the nutrition one. Mm -hmm. And I was going to redirect it to my affiliate link. Again, where do I? Redirect URL. Right, and where do you put the um, video? Right where the video is. So you'll click on the video, and that same icon, this little icon you see there, uh -huh. same icon right there. Click on that. Oh, okay. Change your video. Okay. And Ali, what's if it's a YouTube video? I mean, what's the after the equal sign, right? No, that that is for your sponsor video in Open Jacket. This when when you're editing in LSN, you take the entire link. Oh, okay. It will it. cut it. It will cut it in half for you. Okay. So whatever video you want, you take this entire link and you just copy. Hey, to hear back again. So you go to the video wherever you're wanting to play it. Take that entire video. Okay. And then you just come in and you click on it and you change it. Okay. Can I send you somewhere so you can have a look at what um. Can I send you to a website? Okay. No. no, it's just Evolve, E V O L V Life Bar dot com. Why doesn't it come up on yours? Because I didn't put the dot com. Oh. <laughs> and that saves it in my Google search, so I have all okay. kinds of other information. All right. So if you go to resources, Okay, and say I want to do this one with the starving children. Okay, see how it says there's a share app, there's an arrow that says you can share. Yeah, right? so what you'll do is you'll start this video what if and you click on this magic YouTube button, right? And then, you can and then do I do the whole thing? Yep, whole link right there. What would that look there's like? your link right. to this video, living debt free. Okay, by making a difference. And then that's your link to that video. Okay. So you'll have that whole link. You'll come back into LSN. You'll go to nutrition, edit, go to basic, click on the video, edit, paste your link, hit OK. Don't hit cancel. I'm going to hit cancel though. And then you copy your link of wherever your affiliate page is. And pop it there. Put that there, yeah. and then you save the page. Mm -hmm. You'll know you did it right because it will move and it will go all the way down to the bottom. 
Okay. If you didn't do it right, it'll still be back up where it is. Whenever you edit one of the pages, it goes to the bottom. Now, do I have to be licensed to do that? No, you do not. Okay. But you will have to be licensed to create new pages. Why? So you won't be able to do it on any of the newer pages. So that's what I'm saying. If it fits in one of our product lines, you can do it. Right. And and where do – no, I can't go. <laughs> I'm thinking I can I – can, uh, link up all my Facebook and stuff on on there to, to send it to it. But I have to go on Blogger to do that, right? Correct. Yeah, Blogger will be the platform that links out to everywhere else when you post, and it will come from you, from your Blogger platform, and your accounts will be linked to it. So let me see when I did my last post, and I'll see if I can find it and show you what it what it looks like. My last post was on the 9th. All right, so. Let me go back to the 9th. Ninth, what time? Oh, it's not going to tell me what time I posted it. So this is what it looks like when it's coming from Twitter. And it should have had my Facebook one. I don't know why it's not showing the Facebook one, but this is what it will look like. Yeah. So this came linked from my Twitter account. And this was for the post that I posted and this goes right back to my blogger site to the actual post. Mm -hmm. Wow, interesting. But you have to set up all your side bits there, first name, last name. Yeah, you'll end up setting up your Twitter feed, which you'll, uh, if you don't already have your Twitter account, you'll need one. Twitter's yeah. like the middleman of all linked posting. Yeah, I have a Twitter account. Then you go health to will. <laughs> <laughs> then you're ha then you're pretty much set for that brand. So what you'll end up doing is once you get your Twitter feed account, it will let you interlink, and as well as when you get Twitter, you will have to authorize a lot of apps to post through Twitter. So. So I can I can link link it through Twitter at the moment. No, it won't link directly to through Twitter, but Twitter is the middleman of it. So I'll show you kind of what I mean. So when you're in Twitter, there's a setting for authorized apps. Right. The only thing with that is you cannot authorize an app from Twitter itself. The only one you can connect is Facebook. So you see these are this one actually says disconnect and connect. Uh -huh. The other ones say revoke because they're app permissions from that particular place. So you have to link it in with that particular place in order for it to link through Twitter. So there's tons of different places that are linked in through Twitter, but you can't link it from Twitter. You have to go to that particular place right. and link it. So if I went to um, LinkedIn. You'll go to LinkedIn and link your Twitter account. Right, and then from there, it's linked to Facebook automatically. If you link, if you connect those two accounts. So when you get into your Facebook account, you can link your Twitter account, which it's – this is the only one that Facebook actually lets you link with, and – 
I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. So followers. Followers. And then here's Twitter. So when you edit this, you can link to a Twitter account. Okay. And that will link your Facebook and Twitter to where they're interconnected, to where you post on Twitter, it'll go to your Facebook. You post on Facebook, it'll go to your Twitter. Right. And then you do LinkedIn exactly the same? LinkedIn, you'll go into LinkedIn. And when you go to post, which I'm always in my messages, I hardly post on here because I do it through Twitter. When you publish a post, oh, not actually publish a post. You might not have published yet. When you update, there's public plus Twitter. Right. And then when you click on plus Twitter, if you haven't linked it already, it will ask you to authorize Twitter. And then Twitter will then come in here and they'll give it authorization. And then it will pop up on this list. So, <laughs> you got Solvay up there. You might as well get rid of them. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's Bitly. Yep. So Bitly links across Twitter, which is what also runs through um, Twitter feed. Mm -hmm. So here, this is actually shortened by Bitly. Right. So yeah, I, I use Bitly to do short, to shorten. Yep, and Twitter links them very well, and Facebook accepts it, so you're good with posting through there, and it goes back to your blog. So this shows as it came from my Twitter account, which it technically did, but it ends up on my Facebook. Right, okay. And that's where account linkage comes in. So right. then you'll have this access will be granted to LinkedIn, and it will be able to post to your Twitter account. Right. And there's plenty of other ones. So I have used Hootsuite before, but you can see I haven't touched it since 2013. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't use it at all. Right. And yet that's what they recommend with the MLSP. Yeah. And that's probably because they have an affiliate account with it and they're getting paid off of everyone that signs up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have many affiliated accounts, but I'd rather have you – using the right systems in the right ways and not paying for something that you can do by yourself much more effectively. Okay. Excellent. And, and I, I appreciate that and value that. Thank you. Definitely. But yeah, once you've got blogger, um, I found that that's why I use blogger over WordPress just cause it's easier to integrate with the linkage. Um, and it's, a lot more fluid platform as far as once you get into layouts. Um, web WordPress, you have to do a lot more to change the layout. Right. There's a lot you can do in in Blogger that you could easily modify the layout. So as far as what I mean by the layout is adding custom banners adding side notes there's you can do it on WordPress but you have to do a lot more into the coding of it yeah here if I want to add or take out this banner I literally can come in here add a gadget and I can do the coding for it so HTML JavaScript now you would think that you would have to write HTML well you don't because blogger is gonna do it for you and there's a video for this as well so, so yeah, I was, gonna, I was about to ask, is there training on using Blogger? Yes. So there's a complete training in step five. You click here. There is Blogger training. There's add this training, and then there's Blogger post for Amazon, which shows you how to link um, your actual your actual uh, banners. So how you become a linkable banner. Yeah. So what you do as far as a blogger post for something that you want to get HTML coding for, so say I want to make a particular image, make it linkable. So let's just grab, let's use yours for example. <laughs> I'm going to take this image. We'll save it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to go grab the link that I want it to go to. I'm going to click on the link to unlink it to whatever it was linked to and click it again. 
and now I get to put whatever I want to link it to. I click OK, and now I want this to be a banner on my website. So I'm going to go to HTML, and look at that. There's all the coding for me. I don't have to code any of it. Okay. Now I go back to my layout, close that, don't save it. You don't need to save it. Actually, you can delete that because you just want the coding. Go back to my layout, add a gadget, and you enter in that JavaScript right there. And now that becomes that same image on there. I'll show you for a quick look. Now that's on there. Yeah. Look at that. And you didn't have to code any of it. You didn't have to learn the coding. You didn't have to figure out how to code it. You just pick the image that you want, link it the way you want to link it. Right. Well, you see, if you go back to that website where you took the picture from, mm -hmm. scroll up. No, that's not it. I think it's one of these that goes across. It's it's actually there. Yep. So you can do the the this. You can let me see if it'll actually let you steal it. If it won't, I can show you how to steal it. But that gets into a little bit more complicatedness, which is all of this coding where you actually have to get the coding from it. So it gets a little bit harder. Yeah. But this is the code that it goes to. Oh no, this is there it is. So, that, that image there with the evolve life bar. Yeah. That's, yep. what, that's the one I want to use as my header. So then what you'll do is you'll save this image. Yeah. And you'll go back to the open jacket and get these specs. And then what you do once you save it to your computer, you'll go in to edit it. And you'll make sure that you resize it to right. the images. And so these are the pixels. Okay. And you resize it to the specifications of where you're going to put it based on the Open Jacket Network page. Right. And I've done that before, but it distorts the picture. When you when you resize it, yeah. You keep it on maintain aspect. Oh, okay. So then you're going to go to I believe it's 801 is the length. And you'll have that image maintained. If you take that off, and I go to say it was 901, it'll start to distort it. Well, it won't distort it that much because I only went to 901. But yeah. let me go back to the original. So I go to resize it, and I don't maintain that aspect ratio. Then it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes they'll tell you um, it has to be ho uh, vertical X amount, horizontal X amount. Correct. And then what you can do, if the, if the particular image itself doesn't have the full ratio, I believe it's... It's... Um, let me see what Tyson has again. There's another there's another ratio where um, Facebook will resize it as well. Oh, okay. So if you have um, – and I don't think he has it on here. Right. And I'm wondering if the, res if the sizing is the same for Twitter because it looks the same on Twitter. It's, it's very hey, close. Hey, how you doing? This is Tyson Curtis, the founder of the oh. – <laughs> It is very close. So eight, so eight fifty one. If you were to take it, so say, and you'll need that three by fifteen. The three by fifteen is going to be just as important as the eight fifty one. Why? Yeah. But because Facebook will allow you to adjust and reposition this. Uh huh. So this this image, my my cover image, is technically bigger than than the Facebook design. Why? Yeah. Um, so but you can reposition it. So if you make it larger, you can reposition it as needed. 
So when you're when you're when you're editing, if it comes out too distorted and you have to, or or you don't make it large enough, yeah. you can oversize it because you'll be able to move that image yeah. around. Yeah. So say in particular that you have the the bar. Which where did that other page go? <laughs> All right. So say you have the bar. We could enlarge this to where the bar is really large, and maybe this little girl gets cut off, but you have all the rest of them. Well, that's how it is at the moment. It's the, okay. the you know, the girl, the, the she's bar gonna, is right there, and the little girl's cut off. So you'll want to size it to where it cuts off right here down the line. So it takes out that entire picture. So it looks like the image just starts right here. Right. Rather than having like half of her eyeball. Or the other way around. Exactly. So, you know, and that's, that just comes with positioning it. Yeah. So like here, I cut it off intentionally because I want you looking at this particular part. Yeah. And then once you click on it, it's going to show the full image anyways. Mm -hmm. okay. So, but that is how you oversize it and you can reposition it. Mm -hmm. But when you do them the exact size that they're supposed to be, like I do here, you have it all sized correctly. Right. So that's sized correctly. And then I do my event photos, which um, make sure that you do get subscribed to the events. Um, that's where the, all the events will be posted are from the page. Um, so once you subscribe there, any event that I host, it will be on this page. So you'll get notice from it as soon as it goes on. Uh -huh. So you know what's coming up next. I do send out emails as well from the MSI concept, but don't always get to see emails. And then if you are a subscriber, you'll get the notification on your Facebook as well. And then it'll tell you when the event starts. Obviously the email won't do that at the same time. Right. But, um, and then you can also see all of the past events. So when there's past events, um, like this is a nice reposition stretched image. So this particular image is really the same image that's on LSN. We just stretched it. Uh -huh. so it's the same one right here. Right. And we stretched it so that it fits inside of this with the dimensions. But um, what will be in the past recording or the past events is the recordings. Mm -hmm. So when there's a past event, you can go back, you know, to any of our past events and, and look at, now, I wouldn't say any of them, anyone, any of them that were recorded, right. you can go back into them and it'll have, it'll have the recording if there was one. Mm -hmm. So definitely the, all of these past events that they go all the way back. So you can check those out, which I need to go back and add some of the older recordings that are still on YouTube. There's a bunch on my YouTube channel as well. Okay. Um, that were some of our, our hangouts, a couple of them. Most of, most of the training training is here, but there's a couple of events that we did that are just on the YouTube channel and in the Facebook events, like Phase 4, Phase 3, um, some of the overviews, which will give you more information on the MSI concept as a whole. Those kind of events are all inside of, uh, inside of Facebook. Okay. And on the YouTube channel. Right. So there's definitely tons of content, you know, to listen to, to watch in on, to rewatch, um, to get more information. Um, and you can find all of my information just by Googling my name. Um, everything's there. Search yeah. my name anywhere. It's all, it's all listed by my name. But um, you'll have definitely a bunch of little videos that I've done as well on YouTube. So if you see just my face, that's just a, a general update video for the most part. Like when Solovey went out, I did a video on that. Did a video just on an update that was coming for the MSI concept. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah. Tons were, of different videos. Were you were you part of uh, Solovey? I was. So was I. And I was bummed. Yeah. And yeah. T-Mobile, how... how 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 sneaky they were to get us all wouldn't wouldn't release our um numbers yeah i i i took my number 
I had mine. I I I know how to get my number. I kept my number since I want to say 2003, and I've been through six different carriers. Yeah. Huh. Well, um, I I knew the one of the guys at the top, and I told him I got this. I called him. I said, "What's this letter from T-Mobile? What are they?" <laughs> <laughs> He was kind of shocked that they'd already sent me a letter with a SIM card in it. Yeah. And so he said, what you do? I said, well, what if I don't want to go with T-Mobile? Yeah. He said, well, they've actually locked down your number right now. So he said, go, go with the free, because they give you a free month. Yep. So yeah, said, that's, oh, what I, that's what I told all my members to do. Take the free month offer, get your <laughs> number out, and then go, well, I'll be working on finding you another, another location. Yeah. So that's well. My husband was with Sent. No, Cricket. So at the moment we're over at Cricket. Gotcha. Yeah. So I partnered up with GCN Wireless, which is running AT and T, which is essentially. I'd say it's 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 slightly GCN. If they're if they're true tier one, they should be slightly above Cricket. Right. And, but the problem with the I wanted to join up with Rants. Yeah. Um, um, simply for the um, unlimited hotspot. But mm -hmm. I found out when I went to cricket, my phone is not hotspot capable. <laughs> well, you definitely want to get an upgrade with the MSI concept. I do? Yeah. The Our phones are unlocked. Oh, all your phone, yes, but I need to have the money to buy another phone. Well, well, you'll that's that's what you do with the MSI concept. You got you got to get in there and make some money. Well, that's right. <laughs> and I need a, a phone with a big screen, like yeah. the other man. <laughs> oh, we got some we got some big screens. I think they just came out with a nine inch. Oh, okay. I know for sure there's a seven, but I, I believe there's an I believe there's an eight and a nine is coming out. Well, the one don't quote me on the nine though. I know for sure there's a seven and an eight. I think mine's a five or a six. I can't remember. But you know, as you get older, your eyes start to fade, and you need something big to see. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So that's excellent. I, I definitely will be looking for another phone. Then I can go over to GCN because at the moment I'm paying fifty-five. I think it is fifty-five a month mm. for a Virgin hotspot. Ah, uh, okay. And it's, I mean, I've never blown the um, downloadage on it. It's got six gig. Um, okay. But still, hey, you can't go wrong with um, unlimited. Never when it's free. Unlimited. That's what Rats tells me. It's unlimited hotspot. Yeah. I mean, I would just... If it is, if it is, I haven't seen one that is. Um, from from pa previous experience, but uh, as far as what I've known, any mobile carrier to have, it's unlimited up to your current data plan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Huh. Because he, he keeps telling me it's unlimited. Yeah, I, would, I haven't seen anyone that's done an unlimited hotspot. Okay. From my knowledge of carriers, and I, I study the I when I get into a product line, I study the whole product line. Right. Not not just the network marketing side of it, not just the one company I'm in, but what the competitors are doing, what's being offered in the marketplace. Because I compare, I compare myself when I have an advertisement of some sort, the value proposition versus everything out there, not just the network marketing space. Right. So, because I I build on a customer base, so I look at what the customer is going to ask for. So right. you know, if there if it's going to be a price point of to where they want unlimited hotspot, the only place that used to have it was just the last carrier that stopped doing it that I knew of was Sprint mm -hmm. and they stopped doing it because they no longer have full capacity over all of their data as well. Right. 
AT&T still has the highest cap capacity. Um, and I would say it's still, I don't believe it's unlimited. And I believe they throttle at, even if you purchased a higher data rate plan, I believe they throttle your hotspot data after 20 gigs. So I don't think there's any more ever true unlimited hotspot. Right. At, at least for high speed data. Yeah. Well, well, I guess you're doing the GCN, right? Yes. And so it's not in the in you I'm you haven't sure. read it anywhere. Yeah. I haven't I haven't read it anywhere with any major carrier. And I mean GCN itself isn't a carrier. Right. It's it's the opportunity. So I mean just in knowing the carriers themselves, studying AT and T, T Mobile, Sprint, um, you know, the major carriers, I haven't known a major carrier to have unlimited hotspot. Right. So therefore, uh, with the plan Rance was talking about, I think it was like sixty five dollars for five gig. Yeah, that would be five gigabytes at high speed data. Right. So five gig, but that's not a five gig um, hotspot. It's just hotspots included in that five gig, right? Correct. Yes. So there, there's the problem. So that would be my understanding of it. Unless GCN has worked out something entirely separate, which I, I, and it's very possible. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly new to it to, to say yes, yay or nay. Uh -huh. Um, you know, as, but as far as any carrier, especially a partnership deal that I've ever seen, there's, you're, you're not going to be offered something that a major carrier wouldn't offer to its own customers. And I don't know of AT&T having a truly unlimited hotspot. Right. And I, I want to say their max cap for high speed data is 26 gigabytes. Right. But what I'm saying is if, if, if you wanted that, that amount, it's a share phone, share hotspot at 20 gigs would probably cost a, a pretty penny. Yeah, they do have a lot of plans inside of GCN. There, I want to say the highest one is uh, 140 per month. And I want to say that's like something outrageous, like amazing amount of gigs. So I know Hotspot is included in their plans. Uh, no, no, no. So the highest plan is going to be 100 gigabytes, crazy amount, for $375 a month. Right. So how much would be like a 20? Yeah, it's 114. Yeah, 114. So 4 gigabyte is... Yeah, 4 gigabyte is the most popular. Let's see here. 4 gigabyte of LTE data, so that's your high speed. Overages apply, $18 per gigabyte in one gigabyte increments. So by that notion alone, I wouldn't say that it's unlimited. No. Because there would be an overage. overage. Okay. And that's what, 60 something dollars? This one's forty nine ninety five. The the normal suggested retail is sixty five. But this particular plan is is forty nine dollars. Right. I think that's the one he was telling me about. I said this one here is ten gig for eighty four. Yeah, this one's ten gig eighty four. What's that fifty four? Fifty four is a tablet connect plan. So this would be um, without calling, I believe this is just going to be data. So tablet plan, LTE data. So it's just data. Right. So that 84 one mm -hmm. is 10 gig. What do we have now with the, it's five gig, isn't it? With the phone. 
So that would be the better plan and just a little cheaper than what I'm paying now. Yeah. If I've got rid of the virgin hotspot. Correct. And then you've got the chance to eliminate that bill. So Yeah. That's that's the other that's the other thing like that that it's with, with wireless service, it going from having free service with, with Solove and, and knowing what that feels like, nothing beats free. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So it's like I I don't want to pay any more cell phone bills. Uh huh. So is that the cell phone plan that you have on the site? Yeah, that I do. I do have the uh, GCN and the cell phone service. I market the forty nine average plan, but I cover all of the plans in the video. And then through the actual store, um, I market the actual activation. So there is, you can see here, service plan and SIM. So I give you for $80, you get the service plan and the SIM. So you can choose if you want that. You can get it for 65 What What about the 10, 10 gig plan? I only marketed the two on the website. Oh, okay. So that's just on, on my particular store. I only went with the two. But if they go through, if they're coming through the, which is my main site, everyone goes through and sees the video beforehand. Yeah. So if they're coming through here and they went through cell service, they'd see the video of all the plans. Because Cam Calendar's so here they see all of the GCN plans in here. Wireless. So it'll be the cell service company. Yeah. So I what we're running. I promote that it's GCN, right? Yep. So therefore, I should be on a plan in order to reap the benefits from yeah. it. Yes, you should. <laughs> okay. So what? What's this? I mean, you're still going to get paid from it regardless. You're, I, but I mean, nothing's better than free mobile service, and yeah. that's pretty much something. Like having the cell phone service offer mm -hmm. is something that you can gather customers with because if you told anybody, if you – that's an, a, an opener you can open up any conversation with because everyone has a phone. Right. So even if they're not interested so much in business, if you were to just say how much – you know, the, the question I used to use all the time when I was with, with Solovey, which works the same for any cell phone offer, is – when you ask somebody in a simple process of how much do they pay for their cell phone service, you wait for their answer, you cringe, and then they, that will generally nine times out of ten invoke them to respond to ask you, well, what do you pay? Yeah. And my response was my cell phone pays me. Right. So when you say that your cell phone pays you, that instantly sparks an intrigue. You don't have to really explain cell service, especially when it's running on a carrier's towers that they already know. You don't have to really explain what they have to do because all they have to do is refer others, which they already do already. They probably referred two or three people to the cell phone carrier they already have, mm -hmm. yep. and they didn't get anything. So in doing so, it's it's a lot simpler setup, you know, as far as that, because it's something they already relate to. A bill they're gonna eat, they're gonna pay for the rest of their life, regardless if they don't do the opportunity, or they can take the chance of eliminating their phone bill, and that's if they don't save money right out of the gate. Yeah. Because most of the time, people are like, and then when you ask them if they're paying anything more than fifty dollars a month, they're already paying too much. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know, cause there's going to be times, you know, even if you're on the 10 gigabyte plan for 85, there's going to be times you don't use 10 gigs. You know, there's, there's months that it happens. Yeah. And if you can keep those months to under four, which I do a lot of tips on how to keep your data usage down. The, if you can keep your, your gigs under four, then you're, you know, if you were paying 85 a month, that just saved you 35 bucks a month to regulate your data. 
yeah. for a few months to where you, you referred a few other people. Once you got that $50 credit, now you can bump your plan back up. Now you're only paying 35 bucks a month for 10 gigs. So you cut it down, you know, you know, ease out on your, on your data usage for however, you know, if it took you three months or whatever, however long it took you to get the five people to eliminate your phone bill, then you can go back to your upgraded plan, you know, and start paying for more data. Yeah. You know, cut it down for a little while and, you know, eliminate your bill and then bump it back up. And then you're still paying way less than you would have. And you get exactly what you had before. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's what I taught a lot of people that went into Solovay, you know, say, get in, get, get started, pay either start off. If they're paying more than 50 bucks, that was a no brainer. Like, why are you paying more than 50 bucks? You know, and then that was know, $53 a month. Yeah. So, I mean, if it was really close, if it was really close, like 53, that's, that's not bad. Yeah. But you know, you know, there's people that are paying 65, 75, a hundred, you know, I met one guy that was with Verizon. I was paying 145 bucks a month for one line. <laughs> it's like you're out of your mind. Oh, Verizon's pretty good with burning people. Yeah, I was like, you're out of your mind. I was like, my cell phone bill pays me. I earn monthly off of my cell phone service, and you're paying them 145 bucks a month. <laughs> you know, so it's you know when when you when you have that, it's it's easier for them to relate to, and then. That's usually with my business card, how it has cell service on there. That's usually the main thing that people ask about, either cell phones or cell service because they already have one, and they're already thinking about spending that money within the next week or two. A lot of people are interested in travel, but they don't plan on traveling that day, that week, that month most likely. Yep. Sure. You know, and then nutrition and weight loss, that's, that's a lifestyle. So, you know, if they're not into that lifestyle, they're not going to be into, into that product line. No, but yet that's the biggest industry. Yes, it's a huge industry because there are a lot of people into that lifestyle and there's a lot of people that are getting more conscious about it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the main thing that there are a lot of more people getting more conscious about it, knowing that they need to do something. Yeah. So when you, when you present to them that you have something in that field, they're intrigued to hear more about it because they know they need to do something. Yeah. So, you know, they, that's that's why it's a huge industry right now because a lot of people know that they need to do something. Well, yeah. And, and with the um, recent uh, discoveries, scientific discoveries, and why we actually gain weight, it's huge. Yep. Absolutely huge on how you can actually turn the hormone around and turn it to burning fat rather than storing fat. Exactly. It's crazy. And and there's just so much information there and people just don't know it. Yeah. And that's what, what, is, what is Dr. G say? People don't know what they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so but I mean it's it's what what works why the MSI concept works so good is because because the people come in interested in one product line. But they they look at they end up looking at all of them, and even if they don't end up looking at all of them directly, they end up referring you other people uh -huh. are interested in those other product lines. Okay, and that continues to grow your list. Yeah, that's what you need. And and it's it's a cross it's a cross marketing concept. But because they're all consumer-based lines, people understand all of these product lines without, with, regardless of what company that you're using. It, just having these product lines, they, they instantly know an inkling of what you're talking about because they're already going to have some interest in it. So I don't have to fully explain what skincare is. I just tell them the benefits of my particular product. I don't have to explain what travel is. We don't have to explain what nutrition and weight loss are. Right. But if you say, if you ask the, if you know, some of these marketers out there, they'll say, Oh, I'm in the health and wellness industry. Well, what do you actually do in the health and wellness industry? You know, so, you know, then you have to explain more of your industry. If I say nutrition, 
you're already thinking the type of foods that you eat and eating healthy. If I say weight loss, you're already thinking about you know losing weight. You don't have to you don't have to go into more detail of what it is. They already have an, a, a a notion of what it is, yeah. and then you just tell them more about the product that you're offering and how it can benefit them with their interests that they already have. Hmm. And then they're going to continue when they see everything else that is there. They're going to get somebody else is going to say, you know, come up to them. And they're going to either they're going to either be in a conversation with somebody or what I've had plenty of people happen with me. As far as having cell phones, I gave them a card because they wanted travel. Next week, I get a call from their friend who cracked their cell phone the last weekend. Yeah. So, you know, and it just, and it's somebody I didn't even know, a referral didn't even happen. Hey, my friend Jimmy, he got your card. He said, You got cell phones. Yep, I do. And what do you need? You know, and then it just comes down to what price do you want to spend? How much do you want to spend? What feature do you want? And then you become an expert in the space. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to market it to your too much of your opportunity as to, you know, what your product is. You go straight into what your product product will do for them. Right. And so that's it's what we we say STP solve their problem. <laughs> yep. And that's that's what you go straight into doing. And once you solve one problem, they'll come to you with every other problem that every other person has. Yep. That you that they believe you can solve, and you will be able to do it for them because you have everything at your fingertips. Right. And you get paid on all of it. Well, that's that's the nice nice side of it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it's it's the same for everybody else. And I tell people all the time, you could have been getting paid for everything that you've been doing. I mean, it, people have been referring things from the dawn of time. Yeah, yeah. But when when you talk to people about network marketing and stuff, oh, it's one of those businesses. It's like, yeah. don't you understand that? Any business is a multi-level marketing business. All of them are. It's pyramid. And we we have we have a complete clothing line for all of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all in step four. Yep, I, I like the one with the faces. Yeah. So that's all in step four. I, I personally like this guy over here, this one. It, it lays it out perfectly. Yeah, CEO managers. Yeah, that we use the uh, Walmart. Yeah. Walmart. Mr. Walmart at the top. Yep. <laughs> the checkout. Checkout. And actually, I'm actually, I have this shirt, and I'll show you the color. So when you actually get it in blue, it looks very much like a Walmart shirt. <laughs> <laughs> And I have walked around a few Walmarts <laughs> with that shirt. <laughs> I'd love to get that shirt. That's excellent. Oh. So, yeah, that's all in step four. We have plenty of materials, and that material pretty much covers any of those little stigmas that people talk about. Um, you know, this is one of the ones that I like the most. Um, these, I'll show you both of these because they go together. Um, you have residual bills, like for people that don't understand network marketing and why you would want to do it, yeah. you have residual bills. You should have residual income. And they all want residual income. Every yeah. single person on this planet wants oh, residual income. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's not a single person that doesn't. Right. And if you and if you ask them if they say, Oh no, I don't, then do you plan on ever taking social security? Because that's a residual income. <laughs> That's if it's going to be around for much. That's if it's going to be around. I, I firmly believe it's, I, I've told people this before as well. I was like, if you don't tap into it in the next 10 years, it's not going to be there. Right. Uh, so you've got 10 years. Are you retiring in 10 years? No. Well then you better forget about social security. Right. So that's, that's your residual income you plan on living off of. It's probably going to be little to none once you get to that age. Right. Uh, I mean, it's difficult now. Yes. Even though yes. what they're getting. So, you know, that's, that's an eye opener shirt. And then this is the other shirt that just backs that up completely. If you think I still get paid. paid, I still get paid. If you think it's too good to be true, I still get paid. Yeah, <laughs> if you join me, we both get paid. If you don't join me, I still get paid. 
I, I want that. <laughs> that that shirt right there pretty much just it, it you never have to defend yourself when you're wearing that one. You know what? We've got we've got this conference coming up in April. <laughs> I reckon we need three shirts, Daryl. <laughs> yep. yeah. So they all come in shirts. They all come in multicolored, and they also most of them come in either long sleeve as well as uh, um, hooded jackets. And there's ladies as well. And what and what what sizes do they go to though? Um, all the way up to three XL. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my size. <laughs> so we've got and it's got it's got tons of different stuff as well but i mean the 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 shirts are like they it's just oh, perfect what's on your magnets magnets pretty much the same designs just on magnets so they can go on the side of the car or something uh they're smaller oh okay they're small magnets yeah they're they're small they're they're uh two and a half by two and a half inches so you're probably looking at like this big yeah no so. Uh, I, I thought it might be like you know advertising for the vehicle or something. You can, you can, you can we we have we have people for that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much anything that you want, we I have somebody that has somebody that has access to it. Um, also, in step four, you do have access to business cards as well. We have a, a supplier for business cards, so you can get your own MSI Concept business cards. Um, mm -hmm. That will have all the products lines on them as well. It's locked in at a thousand cards for sixty five dollars. Mm -hmm. So you have those as well. Um, the t-shirt shop is always in step four. So if you ever need to get to it, um, that's <laughs> that's available to you. But I mean, it's they have everything. We have we have a lot of a lot of different signage. These little wood signs are are nice for the desk. You know, if you're at work, mm -hmm. it's good. Um, you know, this is another eye opener shirt here, the forty 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 plan. What's that? Scam alert. Yeah. So this this kind of opens up people's eyes as well that want to say, oh, it's a pyramid scheme, it's a scam. You know, what you're doing right now is really gonna be the scam. <laughs> if you're a victim of this scam, I can help you today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one too. So you yeah. know, there's they're they're just really so you don't have to explain yourself over and over and over again. And yeah. and these these shirts like open up people's eyes. So you know, I have yeah, I have yeah. literally I have literally all of these except for a couple of the new designs that came out. The Y I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, get can you click on that Y one? Yeah. I think that's the one that. Um, this one just came out. Um, I want to say December. People whose why is bigger than their why not. <laughs> yep. So I mean, there's there's tons of them. What's my uh, one of our 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 leader? She says if your why doesn't make you cry, then it's not big enough. <laughs> yeah. So then there's this. This is one of the leadership ones that's really good. Um, you know the difference between a boss and a leader. So boss tells you to go. Leader's in the front leading you. Yeah, uh -huh. that would be a good one for our conference. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you got a lot of these different shirts. Um, obviously, when you're in the travel industry, you've got the travel shirts. They do have the front and the back. Time is a good eye opener as well. So, I mean, pretty much not only do we have a video for that, we have a shirt for that. You know, half of the excuses that people come up with, half of the, the you know, their jobs, anything else. You know, a lot of people are stuck in their job, you know, just over broke, juggling their bills. Mm -hmm. They're a victim of job. You know, got to help them out. <laughs> Gary ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's just, you know, they, they, not only do they spark conversation, uh -huh. it, it can answer it, you know, for the people that, you know, have those little stigmas, it's an easy way to, you know, break that stigma up. You're like, oh, it's a pyramid scheme. You're like, oh, like this? And you just point to your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, 
oh, you mean you know what I mean like this, like the job you're in right now, like. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's what some some people really really get me. There's one yeah. lady I was talking to the other day, and she's a, and she works for insurance, <laughs> <laughs> and she says, "Oh no, I'm not into that stuff." Yeah, I'm like, "Do you know your job?" <laughs> yeah, like you you're already doing it. <laughs> she doesn't like network marketing. Uh, and what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I almost choked on that one. <laughs> yep. And I was like, you're you're in an industry where you're you're constantly doing exactly what it is. Yeah, exactly. But for you're somebody just working else, with a product line that you know of. Right, but for somebody else. Yeah, for somebody else completely. <laughs> Funny. Some yeah. people, it's it's just, and they don't think before they speak. No, not at all. Not at all. They don't, they don't think about it. They don't, they don't, they don't even realize it until after the fact. Yeah. And it's like, you know, and, and that's why it's, it's good to have so many of these videos. Cause then you can just say, Hey, check out some of these videos. See if, see if this information takes hold to you. Yeah. You know, and then you'll know for a fact if it did, cause they'll actually fill out the capture page other than the other way around. You have capture pages that go ahead of the information to where you've got hundreds of leads that really don't want anything else to do with you because they've been followed up on. They were never really interested. Yeah. Now, you know, all of the leads that go through here are a hundred percent interested. Yeah. They have some kind of interest in what's going on, whether it be one of the product lines, multiple product lines, the system yeah. itself, they're interested in some piece of it. Okay. Does the system keep track of where the lead comes from? It can so they're developing more of it. It does have tracking into it. The best way to track them is by managed contact groups. You can create an unlimited amount of groups. And what you do is when you have your page, which they're, they're set up for it, the new pages are, um, when they fill out that page, it will place them into the travel contact group. So you can tell it what group you want that lead placed in. That's currently what it does. They're working on more of the page tracking, which I've told them about. The page tracking will tell them which, it will tell you which page they've visited. Right. Um, so is that a feature available on the ones that you have? Yes, you will. You will see. Um, I haven't double checked if it's still that they give you the statistics as, as a free member, but you can see. I know you can see um, with the marketing hub. There is campaigns once you become a paid member that you can tie to. Campaigns is what does um, what does the individual tracking. So this has individual tracking onto it, which is, this is the part that they're working on. Right. So you can tag the page. Okay. So with the campaigns, say you set up a campaign, does it get just automatically blasted to the internet or do you still have to advertise it? You're still going to advertise it. So, so why, is it, why is it a campaign? The campaign is, is the campaign of what you're advertising. So what, what a, a marketing space campaign does. So when you're marketing, you tag something so you know where your link was. So if I'm running a campaign and I want to find out how good my traffic is from Facebook, I can come in here and tag a campaign and put Facebook. Right. And I'll tie that to one link. So mm -hmm. I'll tie that, say, to this travel page, and I'll tie that to uh, the campaign Facebook, and I'll post that link. Then I'll see how many people come through Facebook that are interested in travel. Okay. And that's what the campaign statistics give you. Right. But they're still working on getting that drilled down for the campaign and tagging them together. Because there's a lot of tracking that goes to, because you can post that link anywhere. So there's a lot of tracking that goes through trying to get that information. Right. In. So that what you said earlier about managing the contact groups, you, you don't get that or you do get that through the free. You do get the contact groups. 
So you set up a, a group? Yeah. So when you have, when you have the leads, you get the contact group and you'll add a new group. So you could just have weight loss, skincare, uh, yep. nutrition. And then when you do the thing, you just tag them to that group, right? Yep. So yep. when you're, when you're in the page itself, these are already set to go to that particular group. You have to build your contact groups and change those if you want to track that. No, but as long as you know that this person has was interested in the weight loss. Correct. Person, yeah, I'll end up in that group. Right. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Um, but you don't have to worry about tags like words. Search. No, no, you don't have to worry about keywords and all of that and SEO tagging. You don't have to worry about any of that. Okay. But if I put if I put any of those on my own website, then I would put all the tag words in there. That's when you would want to you would want to use campaigns because then you'll want to know where that came from. Because they could have gotten you want to know where they got to your link from if you wanted to know that. Right. So the the campaign kind of tells you where it came from, so you know where to if you were to try and spend money on advertising, you would know where you want to advertise because that's where the most people are hitting your link. So like, I'll give you an example of it. With Blogger, you can see where your main traffic sources are coming from. So from here, I can look at where my traffic is coming from, from my page views. So this would be technically like a campaign. So this would be the campaign and then the link that it goes to is what would be the tracking afterwards. But they're still going to end up at the same place, right. which is your group at the end. Uh -huh. So, so that, that, that campaign just tells you where they came from. Yeah, it's just that if you do anything with a website, don't you have to have a, a, a CEO COE, whatever it's called, a search optimization. Email. No, you don't. You you aren't gonna have to do that because you're gonna be branding yourself. Your yeah. SEO is gonna be based on you. So I don't need my websites. Is that what you're telling me? You're still gonna need your website because you're going to need a a landing page. Now there's a difference between a capture page and a landing page. Capture page is gonna get you the information. Landing page is gonna be where they end up. Right, but my, if I'm going to do like the nutrition and the weight loss, it's going to be my affiliate link, which is my site. That will be your landing page. Right, but I also have two web websites that I bought through GoDaddy. Those, those can be your URLs, which you can either redirect or you can build those into a domain. Right, that's what I'm saying, but then you have to have tag words the keywords and stuff like that for people to get there, right? No, because they will already be tagged to your name. Okay. They already have your name on it when you purchased it. Right. So if you're, if you're coding to your name, it's already embedded in your website. Okay. So like with my name, everything that I post is already embedded to my main website. Right, but my main website is the um, the Go Health to Wealth. So, except for it couldn't. Was it Go Health? To Wealth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> slight. Um, you've got a T in wealth that's not supposed to be there. Oh, yep. Which I don't even know if it's up and running yet. Okay, so. This domain, when you purchased it, right. it will already have your name on it. Mm 
Let me go to. It doesn't want to come up. No, I was going to go to another place that shows it. Um, I don't remember what website I used to use. It was when I was first building my site. But I haven't, I haven't set it up yet, so probably. It, it it won't even be when you set it up. It'll have, it'll have the historical view of who purchased it, and I forgot where it was at. Alexa usually has a link to it. I can't even remember the name of the other one. If I can find it. <coughs> I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, so even though if I brand my name, it'll still go to that website. Yes. So I'll show you. I'll show you the where the registration is in GoDaddy. But it there's another website that shows that shows the the SEO tracking will find out who owns that website. So when you purchase your website, GoDaddy makes you enter in your information and it registers with a, a basically a national database for websites. Uh -huh. So your website already has all of this submitted by GoDaddy. They have to submit it. Right. So it already has you listed on your website. So when you're tagging to your name, it's already there. Right. So you don't need as much SEO work when you start building for your name. Now, if you wanted to build the name of Go Health to Wealth, then you're going to have to start tagging more things like hashtags and sending more Go Health to Wealth. You'll have to tag that in all of your videos and stuff like that, which I'll show you what that looks like in YouTube which once you start setting videos it will it will save it for you so let me just grab a video really quick oh, I'm still recording that video that's the, <laughs> right now. that's the one we're on right now oh <laughs> so once I'm going to Let me see if it'll let me show it. Uh, no, it's not letting me show it. I think I can actually get to it from. No, that's not what I want. I will just go through upload. I just don't want to upload the video twice. Yeah. So um, basically, these are all the SEO tag words. Mm -hmm. So this yep. is when you're posting other than what your name is for. Right. So what's the X's on them for, just in case you want to get rid of them? Yes, because you, you have a limit. Right. So is this in YouTube? This is just in YouTube. Okay, because I so like the the reason why I tag in YouTube and it's the only place that I SEO tag is because the YouTube has it built in for their own search engine. Right. So you'll need it. So if somebody's coming in to say find a video on you know making money, which is probably what they're going to type in more of. This is what it's going to tag to. Mm -hmm. So it's going to tag not only to the title, but all of those tags in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know, because that's how I did um, the, the other website that I had with word process, and you had to have all your tags in there, all your, you know, the words that you want yeah, to the, the The tagging, the SEO tagging, it only gets you so far. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's really, if you, if you market well enough, your tagging will be irrelevant 
because the people will already be searching for you. Right. So the the main tag the the main thing that you want to narrow your tagging down to because there's 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 so many keywords to there's there's tools out there that will search keywords and what they try and search for is the least used keyword to get to your topic to push you to the top of that space. Right. And there's softwares that will find it and they'll search the gaps in between and you can use those. Those keyword searchings only go to so far because then you still have to, you'll end up with a lot of bounce, which what bounce is, is somebody went to your site expecting one thing, got something else and left. Mm -hmm. And the more you bounce, the less that Google and everywhere else is going to take you to that place. Yeah. Cause they obviously know that that keyword is not what that person was actually looking for. So you're not relevant to that, at that keyword. Mm -hmm. So the keywords, like I say, only get you so far because they're, the content has to be fully relevant to that. Otherwise it's going to backfire and just push you back down. Yeah. So that's why I tell most people to focus on keywording to maximize yourself and your name and promoting yourself. Mm -hmm before everything else because if people can find you then they can find everything that you're doing yeah so for the longest time i still have a jersey that says google me and, <laughs> yeah and it's literally i'd hand them a card and just say google me you'll find everything else that you want to know yeah and sure enough google and they can find everything else they want to know and then i'll get a message on twitter or they'll go to my linkedin or Google or whichever other, you know, form they wanted to contact me on and they'll send me a message or get back in touch with me. They're like, oh yeah, I found you on Google. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it's designed for. Yeah, so getting getting that set, you know, as is really really once you've got your name set, then they can find everything else that you're connected to. And then that becomes your keyword because not everybody's going to be using your name as their keyword. Yeah. So if they start like, for example, they want to find out more about camp calendar and the MSI concept, it's nothing but me that's going to come up because mm -hmm. my name's before it. Yeah. Pretty much the MSI concept still going to bring up pretty much just me as well. But there is a laptop company called MSI as well uh -huh. that will show up, and that's because that is the naming convention of that particular company. Right. They started technically before I did since I only launched in October. So this company will come up, and it's a laptop company. I've dealt with them before. I actually almost bought one of their laptops. But, you know, when it comes down to it, the, the SEO keywording – I didn't need any of the keywording to build this. Right. It was posting on that brand, tagging my name to it, and tagging that brand to myself. Mm -hmm. Once you build your brand, just like Leslie, who has built Queen's Beauty, she built this brand of Queen's Beauty, and she put everything that she tagged to Queen's Beauty. Her website, her everything is tagged to Queen's Beauty. And now every time somebody looks up Queen's Beauty, they find her. Mm -hmm. And then they, everything else is connected to her name. So now they know her name. They, it's become synonymous with Queen's Beauty the same way that people inter, intertwine those two things. Google does the same thing. Right. So you, all you have to do once you've picked your brand, once you've, once you've isolated your name, you can tie it to anything that you want. Your name becomes your brand. Mm-hmm. And as your name becomes your brand, you got to start protecting your brand. So make sure that you don't have too many things that aren't affiliated with you tagged to your name. So definitely watch out for people trying to tag you in a lot of things that aren't connected to you. People trying to post on your timeline a lot of things that aren't connected to you because that will all sink in and bog down the results that you want up to your name. So at the moment, I think my thing is set on public. There's a lot of stuff going on my Facebook timeline.
that I, I don't even look at it half the time. So what you want to do, you still you want to be public because you want people to be able to find you, but your timeline and tagging, who can post on my timeline? Only me. Okay. Yeah. No one else can post on it. Okay. Review post that people tag on me before I put on my timeline. Sorry? Well, okay. So now before anything reaches my timeline, it has to go through me. Mm-hmm. If I don't like it, I say no. Okay, so that's tagging and timeline. Yep. Yeah, because I mean, some a lot of the people in our and in our business obviously post stuff, so that's okay because that's the same business as what I'm in. Yeah. Um, but well, people, you have a connection to it. If there's no connection to it, right. it really reach your brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to go and change that. Okay. okay. Turn your tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's ready to go to bed now. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. But I mean, I mean, I I stay up late and do these sessions. I try to, you know, give as much time as I can, as you know, as much as you need, and train as much as I can. Yeah. Well, this is really good because it's given me a lot of a lot of things to do now. Think about, train, and do. Um, mm -hmm. I'll really, tomorrow morning, because I'm not going to do it tonight because I don't want to stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> so, as I said, brain cells are dying off here. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, I want to get in and set up the nutrition and the weight loss thing. Okay. Pay my $10. <laughs> send out the link to a few people <laughs> and continue training. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the way to go. Yeah. You, you I, I've got to get licensed for all the others too if I want to. If you want to capitalize on the residual, yes. Right. And then I then I can go in and link Twitter to Facebook and, and, and then go into LinkedIn and link them up. Mm. I thought I did that with Pinterest as well. Yeah, Pinterest is on there as well. Um, but so then if I post to Facebook, it'll go over to Twitter, etc. But then get to know the blogger. That's Fa what. Facebook itself only bounces out to Twitter. Okay. But Twitter bounces out to others, doesn't it? Twitter will bounce out if it comes direct into Twitter. So what will happen? It's, it's kind of it's kind of strange. Because Twitter, the only the only link that goes both ways is Facebook and Twitter. Just because they've come, the they've basically became the two biggest ones. Okay. Twitter will pulse out of places if it's something that's posted directly to Twitter, or if it's already linked through one of your other apps. So, for instance, if I were to post on Facebook, it would go to Twitter, but it would not go to LinkedIn. Oh, okay. If I were to post on LinkedIn, it would go to Twitter and Twitter would push it to Facebook. Okay. So it goes it, it goes certain ways and it's it's all about the pathway of that connection. Right. Twitter, Twitter's it, in the middle of a lot of the connections. Right. But if I post to Twitter, it'll post to all the others. No, not all the time. Okay. It depends on the direction of that connection. Just like Facebook will go to Twitter, but it then will not reach LinkedIn. It doesn't, it, it depends on the path that it has. And there's just tons of different paths. I'll just put it that way. There's tons of different paths. Okay. To get the most exposure early on is, is using the account linkage video and setting up blogger because then you can post solely on blogger which grows your namespace your own personal website but also reaches out to facebook twitter linkedin and tumblr if you have one right i don't have tumblr but i've got pinterest linkedin twitter yes, and, and you can you can share with pinterest um it, once you get the blogger share tools set up which there's another video for that on the share tools uh, but once you get your blogger set up 
you can then share from Blogger. Right. So once you've got it set up, you will have the buttons under each post. Tweet it, pin it, share it, you yep. know, whatever you want to send it to. Uh-huh. <laughs> Excuse me. But you'll have these share buttons. That will allow you to share everywhere else. Okay, good. And this is all in the add this training. So this will allow you to share generally anywhere on the internet. Mm -hmm. WordPress, everything's in here. It's like 200 and something different places. Wow. <laughs> so once you get that added on, you can share from blogger to anywhere direct. And that will continue to tie back to your blogger, which will have your banners if you post them. Um, Facebook Facebook has badges that they've coded for you now. You can get Facebook badges to get all your like buttons and everything else. Uh, but there's just different things that you can set up here. This is the basic one that, that Google um, already has, which just has the top ones. It has blogger, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and uh, Google. And then you can email it as well. But then add this will give you the shiny buttons. Mm -hmm. But that will be the main thing. Um, add this will give you these as well, which will allow you to basically do the same thing. They don't have the, the coding to get this side panel, which I did years ago. You can still get, but it's really hard to code, um, which basically does the same thing as this smaller button. Mm -hmm. Posts. Yeah. But it's really hard to code this to pop up because it just the coding is difficult. Um, I've tried to help a couple of people code it, but there's a lot that you have to do in add this to add it in your coding before this will pop up. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say pretty much don't worry about the sidebar. Not too many people use it. If they're really going to share something, it's mostly going to be right at the end of your post. Yeah. Um, and then from there, most of the time they have the, the direct link to that post anyways as well. So each time you post with blogger, this will be the direct link and it will go to it. I have mine masked, but so you won't see it. Let me see if I open it this way, if it'll do it. Which I'll show you about masking as well. Um, after doing it with this domain, I, I don't mask anything else. But this is the actual link post. So most people will copy that whole link post and send it to somebody if they, they find something. But most of the time, just having the like and share button here, that's pretty much all you really need. And you can share to Facebook, whatever, you know, and it'll pop up. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of coding that goes in with that. Now I have different pop-up banners on the bottoms that pop up and, and this subscribe button. There's a lot of extra coding that I found, you know, over the years, just adding and tweaking and, and working with HTML. But yeah. change this now too. So when you have those things under your post, do you have do you still have to click on them to share? Or does it do it automatically? You will click on these to share. Oh. No, no, I mean I mean for anyone visiting your site. When you when you post It'll post automatically. It'll post automatically. So okay. when I post this, it goes out automatically. Right, because you've already set it up in yes. your settings. Okay. Yeah. You set it up with Twitter feed and Twitter feed will pulse out and it will connect to the other the other avenues. Okay. So once it once it hits Twitter, it pulses through Facebook. It pulses out to Tumblr. It will pulse out to. Um, it'll it'll copy that Bitly link and it'll post that um, forward. So you have a lot that goes in the middle from Twitter. Okay. So those links that I have to share, I can I can uh, shorten them through Bitly. You can, um, if you if you needed to, um, you can you can shorten these through Bitly. Um, 
it, especially if you have the account with them, because then you can you can permalink them, which um, will give you a specific Bitly account, mm -hmm. but a Bitly post. What I say about using these though is when it's an affiliate link, you don't want to Bitly post that because then nobody's going to ever remember that link. Right. So if you're using any of your affiliate links, you should give that link to them okay. if, if you have to give it to them because then they can either A, remember that link, or it'll be real distinctive when they go back to it. Okay. But if it was just a Bitly link, they have no idea what the original link was. Okay. So it's definitely good to have that, and that's why I purchase a lot of domains because then I can I have my domains redirect so like the actual cell phone the the shirt shop is actually the MSI concept.net and it redirects to the to the store right. then I have MSI mind biz which redirects to the cell phone store hmm. so I have domains that go to specific places the MSI concept.com goes directly to the system of LSN. Yeah. So it goes, it, they go to specific places. So instead of having that, that particular long of a link, I purchase a domain and send it to them because it's easier for them to remember MSI mind.com than MSI mind.net slash camp calendar. Right. So I get it. I get it by George. Yeah, that's one of the, the things that a lot of my members value is I don't just tell you the how and the what, I kind of tell you why. Yeah. So, it, it you know, you know why you're doing it a certain way. Mm -hmm. Not just kind of follow the leader or follow the blind or just, just use the system. You know, that's what a lot, of, a lot of people will say, you know, just use the system. And, it, it works to a point you still if once you understand why things are done the way that they are it's a lot easier to understand them and follow them right so how long have you been doing this I've been in network marketing uh, since 2010 no I'm talking about this system You're Oh, the MSI concept I created in October of 2015 okay and you've been using it how many leads do you get now I have generated just with the MSI concept 56 signups. That's people that have actually signed up for the step by step. And through NS LSN interested leads, it is 75. Okay. Since October. That's all right. And that's with just posting links that's not even using any that's all new people all new okay. organic people yeah so that's not any of my old contacts that's not putting that's not pulling any of my list from my 15k list I didn't contact any of those people these are all new people yeah it gives you nice little scores too uh-huh what are the scores for? The scores will tell you um, how much they've visited. So let me go through a lead really quick. Let me go through somebody that has a high score. So Andrew, for example. This is everything that Andrew's done. So I can tell when he's opened an email. I can tell when he's visited a website. I can tell when he's watched part of the video. I can tell all of that. Oh. And he gets scored on all of it. So when he's completed the delay, that means he'd watched more than, I believe it's 35 seconds I have it on right now. 35 seconds of the video. Wow. So if they're there for more than half a minute, they're probably watching the rest of it. Because mm -hmm. most people know in about 30 seconds if they're going to keep on watching it or not. But he's opened every single email that I've sent him. He's gone through the system video multiple times. So this is what I talk about with people that will go back to your videos. 
he originally got connected with me because he was interested in Solovey. Now he's looking at LSN 2.0. Uh -huh. Yep. So oh, the system. Yeah. So you know, and it's just one of those things that that happened. Like it, it just organically grows. Yeah. And my, you know, I can show you guys how to write those e autoresponder campaigns that will have you doing less follow up. So my campaign, he got emails. In those emails that went out to him, they go out for thirty days. So this goes all the way up to thirty days. Right. And that's for each different product line. So they write out and they have strategic exact moments of why I send them out the way I send them out. But they go for 30 days. If personally, if they, if they haven't contacted me because it tells them to contact me at least 16 times out of the 30 days, what they haven't contacted me or followed up in 30 days when I've sent them multiple emails and generally messages on Facebook or whatnot, then I don't need to spend much more effort with following up with them. I can still send them the email broadcast, but I wouldn't keep them on an autoresponder campaign longer than 30 days. Um, what an active one, I should say. What? Now I do know of a couple of techniques of writing passive ones that I'm thinking about adding on to these campaigns where it'll have a six months and a one year and LSN already has those built in. So if I wanted to create an autoresponder message, I can choose up to all the way to 52 weeks, which is a full year. What? So it's already set for the passive campaigns to do six month campaigns as well as one year campaigns, mm -hmm. which I know how to write, but it writing all of those messages and the timing of those, it, it doesn't work very much anymore. Right the effort that goes into it it's too hard <laughs> Put that in the not, too hard not, not too hard but i mean it, it comes down to where it'll be just as easy to go in here and send an email broadcast and have them peak interest again with that right there then to have it automatically send out one email you know six months later Huh. It, it uh, I've had people follow up later in years, like this particular guy that was, he's in, I forgot what, which country, but it was over a year ago that I had first got in contact with him and I was still developing the MSI concept before we inked everything and got all the product lines and everything set up and all the countries spread out and fully global. You know, it is easier to have him, come back in and see everything that's been built and have them watch and follow you and come back and ask you, Hey, what's going on? Then to try and follow up with them later. Right. Hmm. Cause people will end up seeing what you're doing. You know, the, the posting, the information that's going to go out, they'll see you, you, the progressions that you're making from going to posting videos to posting on your own website, to putting your own banners together, to, all the different action items that we have available, creating your own memes now, all of that will be available and, and steps that you can go through while you're training that people will see that have seen you before and they'll come back to you and, you know, and they'll want to get connected with you because of everything that you've been doing. Mm -hmm. So it, it will get you you more exposure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it gets my business more exposure. Yes. Okay. We want to expose you and then people are going to be looking for you and then you can tell them whatever you're doing at any given time. So if your business ever changes, if anything ever changes as life does, people are still going to be looking for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Alrighty. Well, I think it's time for me to hit the sack too. <laughs> yeah, I'm about ready to. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, definitely. This is what these sessions are for. I will have this uploaded to YouTube. Oh, sorry about that.
Are you still there? Hey. Oh, sorry about that. I, I have no idea what I clicked on. I must have clicked on stop sharing screen. <laughs> I was just trying to move it. <laughs> You're tired also, see? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I guess that stopped the screen share and, but yeah, we'll have this recording up for you. I'll post it to YouTube and then I will shoot you over the YouTube link. So you will have it for as long as you ever need it and you can always touch back okay. on. Okay. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Definitely. That's going to be a long, be a long <laughs> YouTube video. Oh yes. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> okay. All right. But it was good. Good information. Yep. Definitely. Welcome to the MSI concept. That's what it's all about. You know, getting the information that you need to to reach success that you desire. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Take care.